I'm stranded on an island with a bunch of other people in a scary modded world. And how did that happen? Well, there was this huge thunderstorm and we went overboard and we're like, oh no. What about all Wait, our what stuff? What do you think happened to all our stuff? I mean, good that we're still alive, but my Nintendo 3DS, it was brand new. Our ship is wrecked like a proper shipwreck. It looked bad in the storm, but honestly, it kind of looks worse without the rain. I'm not gonna lie. I guess we are castaways now. Since no one was coming for help, we started exploring the islands around us, and people started asking questions. I mean, who was driving the ship? I don't know. Yeah, where's our captain? Where's the captain? Definitely was not me <laughs> driving the ship. <laughs> Definitely yeah, well, it wasn't me. me. I never it wasn't me. saw the captain. Sev, did you cause them? Yes, what? Sev. Me? Sev? No. Uh-oh, they're onto me. I mean, nothing. I don't know, Sev. That was kind of mm. sus. Yeah, and Sev was wearing sunglasses at night. I have glasses. Yeah, who Would I lie? sunglasses at That's night? That's so weird. I need a distraction. Drift, you have a Justin Bieber haircut. It's oh. all Drift's yeah, fault. Yeah, what about it? It's all Drift's oh. fault. It's not hey, hey, sus. Guys. Justin Bieber's a legend. Drift kind of sus. We've been here a couple days and discovered that there are a bunch of little islands all grouped together. Oh yeah, and there's no way out. Like literally, we cannot craft any boats. The others have built up a little campsite to keep us safe. I have sunglasses, so I was too cool for school and didn't help. Just kidding. I don't know when other people are going to be here to rescue us, so what do we do? Oh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to eat this juicy kebab. Mm, Stop, so we got to save that for like a couple days. This I'm is hungry. Like a couple what days. if this is our only I'm hungry. food like, ever? That Wait, you want to live here? I'm going to swim. Frog, there's dogs. Oh my god, ew. I'm never going swimming again. Ugh. So I guess we're not gonna swim away, but I kind of don't want to give up on leaving this island just yet. So first I need to gather some of the basic supplies so I can find a way to get off this island. Now let's get some stone, and now I just gotta find some coal. Whoa, I almost fell down there. Oh, and there's some coal. It's all gonna be mine. This island here looks good for what I've planned. Oh no, it got darker, there's skeletons! Sunglasses for the win. Go away! sunglasses for the win again. I'm gonna make a giant campfire right here and hopefully someone is gonna see it. I guess now we just gotta wait for help to arrive. A few moments later. I got bored of waiting. Let's go try something else. Oh, what about a giant flag to go with the campfire? But for that, we gotta go find some iron so we can shear the sheep. Underwater cave it is. Look at all this iron. And I can just stay on this magma cube so I don't drown. I survived and got 15 iron, but I'm literally starving to death right now and I really don't want to taste this rotten flesh. It stinks. Wait, can I those flowers. Ooh, crops of the wild. <gasps> wild crops. <gasps> that is so cool. Mmm, cabbage. You know, I was hoping for a burger or something. I guess we can't be picky if we're survivors. That didn't even restore any health. Yes, yeah, so I just ate the rotten flesh. Don't judge me. Sev. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> Okay, first I found sunglasses, and then I also got like a cod head, and you can put them on top of each other. They they call me cool fish. You know, cool sunglasses fish. are kind of my thing. Just just saying, but it's okay. We can share. Yeah, but like we can share it, right? Like, yeah, we they're can different. share. You, it looks like I've got like Ray Bans, and you have like I don't even know, but we look pretty cool together. Can I we... have the cool swag. Yeah, you have the fish glasses. I don't look cool, is what you're saying. I mean, it's hard to find the right words with all that fishy stench. I guess now we just gotta search for sheep, and while we're at it, let's try to greet off some food from some people. Wait, is that who I think it is? The wandering scammer. Come here, drama llama. Give me your leads. Oh yeah, now we dip. Losers. Wait, I got llama heads. That's creepy. And then I found a bunch of scared girls hiding from creepers, so we decided to look for sheep together so we can also make a bed to sleep the night away. It went really well. <coughs> I killed a skeleton and got Ow. a rare hat grab bag. What is that? Wait, you did? <gasps> what did you What'd get? You get? What'd you get? I got floating hearts. Wait. <gasps> no way. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my so god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh hey Drift. Oh hi. Oh, hi. What is that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What the? I got that is the so swag. Cool. Man, I left my sunglasses at home. What are you what looking like for? Sheep. We've been sleep yeah, we deprived. I have a confession. Please don't judge me. Drift. Oh. I may you have kill? accidentally killed Drift. people on my island, but I thought there would be more. <gasps> Listen, Drift. I thought there would be more. Oh, you killed oh, them. Oh. If Drift killed the only sheep on this island, I'm going to murder her. Drift, you owe me sheep. Come on, we're still friends, right? I don't know. I don't know. Can you find, us, you a find sheep? us a sheep? So we decided we should push Drift into a giant cave as revenge for killing all our sheep. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and after a lot of searching and a lot of screaming, we finally found a sheep. And not long after, we found sheep number two. I have a bed. Do it, Seb. <gasps> Seb. Yes. Yeah. Sleep. Let's get her now. Let's go. 
Well, that was fun. And I totally forgot to greet their food. I mean, we have those guys to eat now. I'm just gonna fence them in on this little dirt patch on my island. I guess this kind of is my island now. Now we're just gonna breed the sheep. So let's make a crop field. Let's plant some wheat seeds for the sheep. And then also some beetroot and cabbage for myself. Yuck. And now I just gotta breed and shear tons of sheep. I love how I didn't notice this creeper at all. But of course it noticed me and it was hungry for some sheep. And to distract myself from that horrible experience, I went to do a little trade with Frog. I traded her wool for a bed and she gave me some melons to eat in return. Where are you heading um, to base? Like, where are you Where are you living? Can I see it? Oh yeah, you can come with me. It's over there. Wait, I'm lost. Where is it? I lost my island. You live over by the shipwreck? Sort of next to it. I can see it every day and cry. And then we committed a murder together. Thank you very much for that very non-suspicious wool that you gathered ethically. Yeah, ethically. I'll be, I'll be going now. All right. Thank you for the melons. I'm going to eat them. Don't drown. I, I want to at this point. Same. But now it's flag time. This is looking really nice. I also have one more trick up my sleeve and that is throw a message in a bottle in the ocean and hope someone will find it and rescue us. But during my silly fails to leave this island, I've actually got myself some decent resources together, so maybe living here won't be that bad. And everyone else here is so nice, so if they're not leaving, I'm not leaving either. Let's make this official and craft our first armor. And with that I mean only the pants because I'm out of iron. I also found all these random shells in the sand. When you break them, it actually gives you the shell. And we can right click to open them. Oh, it gives you lapis. Wait, it also gave me other stuff. Gold nuggets, emeralds, and raw muscle meat. Let's cook it on the campfire. I also got another rare hat bag, so let's see what we get this time oh no way we get a pokemon what the heck best thing ever but i can't mess around with hats forever so i want to work towards getting a lot of resources and i'm building my cute little starter house by the sea i want to get better tools and armor before i resource grind so i went looking for a cave there are so many nice resources down here but also so many mobs but of course i was brave so i went in the ravine and got lots of coal and iron and other nice resources ah creeper 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 Yay, I got another hat thing. I got a big brain. This is so cringe. And thanks to that caving trip, I was able to craft a full set of iron armor and some iron tools. I have a knife. I also found some weird underwater temple and looted it. A beach towel. We can place it down too. And I can sit on it. Oh my gosh. It was at this moment that I decided I wanted to build up the perfect, beautiful beach party base. I'm gonna build my starter house right here by the shore, so let's flatten the land a bit. And now I just gotta find some spruce wood. I've not seen any normal spruce trees around, but maybe those modded trees could have spruce. Yeah, this is spruce wood, right? And Instead of normal saplings, it drops this one, orange spruce sapling. This could have been the only spruce tree on all the islands, so these saplings are very precious. And I'm also gonna farm these palm trees, even though I'm not sure how the wood is gonna look yet. It looks really nice, look at this wood. I'm so gonna use this. Oh my gosh, I got coconuts! Oh my gosh, I can place them down. I can place them together like this! I love this so much. No, I broke them all! Why must you be so cruel, Minecraft? But soon I realized having the only spruce wood is a great business opportunity. Business. Oh, Drift. Dev, what's up? I might have something you like. What is it? Is it Crocs? Your mom. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That was rude. Got him. What, what, what do you got? What do you got? This one here. Look at this. What is that? It's like a dusty tree. Excuse me. It's the rarest wood type. Ever. What? No, let me see it. Let me see it. Look at it. Sev, you have spruce? I do, but I can give you more for a price. I might have something that you'll like. Oh, yeah? You just have to trust me. How would you like that? Demon horns. <laughs> yeah. Are oh they gosh. cool? Let me put those on. I am a no, demon see, sent here to destroy you. <laughs> okay, that was bad. <laughs> you're, you're gonna get so many spruce saplings for that. Thanks, Sev. Bye, Drift. She smelled. And then Brooke wanted to trade a modded wood type for my spruce saplings. I have my own wood type, but I'm pretty sure no one else has. It is this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I want. And shortly after, Red also did a spruce trade with me. Thank you, I appreciate it. I think spruce wood just made me popular. Why? I just died. And in between all that wood trading, I also got myself a lot of resources myself and a lot of hat bags, which I'm gonna open once my build is done. Let's start off by making a nice dock out of palm logs on which the build is gonna sit. And on top of this, I wanna put spruce wood, but since this is a modded world, there are special kinds of spruce wood. And to get that special wood, I need a carpenter's table and I need those resources to get it. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool! And now I put some strip spruce in it, I can get all these cool versions. Oh my gosh, they look so cool, look at those! And then we can already put the corner logs of the house on top using the palm blocks. 
And then we can make use of the workbench again and transform those planks into something nice. And then we can put those in between as the house walls. Look at those, they look really nice. And I also want to decorate the wall, so I'm going to use palm wood, stairs and fences as detailing blocks. Yeah, those are some really cool looking palm blocks, but we also need windows. I want to use special kind of glass though, so we need to use a glass blower's workbench. And now I've made the glass blower. Look at this, it's so cool. And now I can turn the glass in all of this. But I want dyed glass, so we need to find yellow and orange dye. Is that Moobloom planting flowers? That's so cool, I'm gonna take them. I'm just sneakily gonna steal those flowers from Red while she's not looking. <laughs> Successful stealing accomplished. And now we can transform those glass panes into something really cool looking. Okay, check out these really cool looking windows. They're so pretty and colorful. And I can spy on my stinky neighbors through the glass. And these ones here look really nice too. I also want to put a little canopy out of wool here. And I want to use cyan wool, but there's no cyan dye anywhere on these islands. Except one place. There's this tent in our starter village which has cyan wool. And I'm gonna steal it and replace it with blue wool. Surely nobody is gonna notice, right? This is still looking really nice, and now all the cyan wool is mine. And of course I have to craft this giant loom table to make the wool look even prettier. These are so cool! It looks so nice! And this one as well, oh my gosh. And now I can combine those two and make a lovely cyan canopy. I love this so much. Ow. Before I decorate the walls even more, I need to worry about the roof. There's a mod that when you place a hay bale down, it dries and then you can craft stairs and slabs out of it. So that's gonna be what I use for the roof. I'm gonna steal so much weed from my neighbors. I mean nothing. And while I gathered weed, I was viciously attacked by modded monsters. There's a really scary enderman with red particles. I kinda wanna fight it to see if I get cool items. Let's look at it. Get him! Oh no. No, it's throwing stuff! Wait, do I not have a shield? I have a shield. Woo! I'm so gonna die to this. I'm dead. Ah! I died to a corrupted Enderman! You can't get me in the water! Woo! Ah! It's flying! No, no, no. Is it gone? It's gone! Yay, I defeated it, but not really. 12 seconds later. What is this cursed pigs with particles? Ah! What is that? Oh, no, 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 uh-uh. Please no, please no, please no, I'm just, I'm just trying to play Minecraft. No! Wait, something just died. They died! I did it, I'm a pro Minecrafter. There was a mysterious flying book and it just saved my life, I'm sure of it. Ooh. Ah! No, it's a bad person thing. Oh, there's one more over there. Oh, look, they're dying in the water. Haha, <laughs> got him. Please die. Ow, ow. No. No, 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 no. Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Other people would say, oh no, I died. I said chicken nuggets. I don't know what that was, but we got an illusion ahead and totem of illusion. I guess it was all an illusion. But I finally have enough wheat, so let's put the roof on this house. And now the exterior of the build is finally done. It's the perfect beach house. But a beach house also needs more beach decorations and thanks to the beach party mod, there are lots of cool options. We can use wool and those palm blocks to create beach furniture. Look at this, it's a tiki chair. And I'm sitting on the chair. Oh my gosh, we have tiny little baby chairs. And then we also have this hammock, look at this. And a big beach chair that I can use for fishing. And the best one is this giant beach chair where I literally don't fit in. Look at this, my hair is sticking out the top. And I can also make a tiki bar and put it right here. Okay, and these tall palm torches have to be the coolest thing ever. Beach vibes accomplished. And we can also make this botanist workbench, which also looks really cool and overgrown by the way. Then we can put regular vines in it and get some cool unique vines, which is gonna look really nice on my house. And I think now my starter house is done. And now that I completed the house, I can finally open those hat bags. I was literally so excited to see what's inside. Let's open the common ones first. Okay, we got another weird brain. A weird hat, another weird hat, and the coolest thing ever, a froggy hat. And now the common ones. We got a weird ribbon, and a little chicken, and a creepy mask. This is giving me beach tropical vibes, I'm scared. And now the rare ones. It's a bunny on my head, and a baby snowman, and I get snow particles. And now the epic ones. A very weird RGB hat, and a little green bird. 
scared. Oh, the eyes are flashing. It's so creepy. You know what? With so many hats, I could get rich. And it turns out Frog had the same idea. She showed me her zombie spawner that she found deep underground and we formulated a plan. I guess it's time for business. Now that I have this cozy starter base, I can actually imagine living here. And it's definitely not because I've been obsessed with gathering all these custom hats that I get from mob drops. And Frog Crafting and I have some fun plans with those hats later. But first I think it is time to finally start going mining and gearing up. I've been so obsessed with random stuff like sitting here and fishing, instead of actually mining for resources. Which is why I still have stone tools. I don't only want to go mining, but I also want to make a mining entrance in a cute little build. Right here where this Moobloom lives. So let's go ahead and let's just start digging a staircase down. So my staircase just hit the ocean. Oh, this is gonna be so complicated. I kind of boxed the water all in and now I just gotta get rid of it using sand. Why did we have to get stranded on an island surrounded by water? Can it be surrounded by chocolate or something? Wait, I just hit another water cave straight away. Why? Three extremely frustrating water caves later. Ew, I hit a ravine. I guess before we cover this up, I'm definitely gonna get some resources. Ugh, creeper and spider. Nope. Die, creeper. Get him. Aw, no hat bag. After I took care of all the monsters, I helped myself to the iron and coal scattered around the place and was even brave enough to explore further into the caves where I found more resources. Then I went back in the ravine to make sure it was completely lit up, but then I came across something magical. It's axolotls! I have one bucket. Oh my gosh, I need to rescue one of them. Oh, you guys are so cute, but I can only take one. You're the one. Yay! We have an axolotl. Okay, now that I got some iron off this scary ravine, I want to try to continue this staircase downwards towards diamond level. And I just hit another cave. And it's scary and creepy. <gasps> wait, wait, there are diamonds. Oh my gosh. How do I get down from here? Maybe bucket glut with the axolotl? Ah! Don't die, axolotl. I gotcha. The first thing I did was run around the cave really fast while placing torches everywhere without giving the monsters a chance to attack me. Okay, this is a giant cave system. I better not stay here for long, but I'm definitely gonna get all those diamonds lying around. Wait, that's glow lichen, but this is a diamond. Yay! Ah, skelly! No, 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 no. But of course, my fear of mobs quickly went away when I realized their full potential. Wait, if I kill all those mobs, I'm gonna get so many hats. Yay! Okay. Hi there, dear zombies. Give me hats. Give me hats. Oh no, creeper, no! Ah! <laughs> what was that? That was so funny. And since hat farming didn't really work out, I focused my attention on the ores lying around. Yay, I have a diamond! Ah! Oh my gosh, something hit me! Oh no! <laughs> that scared me so bad! Stupid skeletons. Yeah, kill each other. Losers. I have diamonds, 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 diamonds. And also these diamonds. Yay, there's more. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I have so much cool stuff. Let's try to scaffold back up here. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be out of that tunnel. And now why don't we make our first diamond pickaxe? Yay, pro Minecraft. I also saw that Drift and Brooke set up this cute little chanting table, but when I went to enchant my tools, I realized I don't have enough XP. Probably because I died so much last episode. So we're gonna save the pickaxe enchanting for later and focus on building the mining entrance house. Also, I don't know who did this, but this is a crime. Yeah, it was me. I did it. <laughs> I'm a criminal. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Let's melt down all this cobblestone into stone. And while that is melting, let's also gather some wood. Also, who laid eggs on my island? Oh my gosh, we got duck eggs! And now we have to make another one of these weird workbenches. And this time it's gonna be this weird mason table. And there's no space for it, so good that I never decorated this top floor. And now I can use this workbench to change the texture of the stone. And then we get some really cool patterns. And now I can use those modded stone blocks to create a nice house foundation. I've only just now noticed that this is the blackstone and the deep slate block version, but stone edition. And the moo bloom is feeling right at home and moved in. Moved in. And now let's put the floor in, which is gonna be this really cool looking checkerboard pattern. And now we gotta spruce this place up, but of course not just any kind of spruce wood. This one here. And while I was crafting up my spruce wood, Red actually wanted to do a spruce trade. So I chopped down a couple stacks for her. Wait, you have a new hat? It's a frog? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a frog. I forgot I had that on. <laughs> it's me, frog nice. crafting. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's frog crafting, an imposter. And you're an angel. Yes, I have a halo. Yeah, I killed a I killed someone and got a halo. 
kind of ironic, but oh. it happened. You committed murder and yep. became an angel. And then I traded spruce wood for an exciting new modded wood type that I've never heard of before. How do you pronounce yeah. that? Is it jacaranda wood? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I literally have no idea. But what's kind of cute is you can get these like bushes with it. Oh my yeah, gosh. it's like a little purple guy. It's purple and pink. Yeah. I love. There's also these like flowering types. Ooh, purple. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. All right, enter your uh -huh, spruce. Uh -huh, yeah, it's easier. Bye, angel. Oh, I will. <laughs> See ya, frog crafting. <laughs> Sussy fake one. Sussy fake one? <laughs> sussy. I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> sussy fake one. <laughs> it's kind of sus, not gonna yeah. lie. And now we have a really cool new wood type to add to our collection. Hopefully we can use that in future builds. And now we can start bringing up the walls using spruce wood on the sides and oak wood in the middle. But of course they have this really nice brick wall texture. Look at this, it's really colorful too. And now we can put on the roof using the palm tree stairs. And then I'm gonna use this blue Skyrus wood that Red traded me a while back to fill in the rest of the roof. And it looks so cool when it's stripped. The wood just looks so pretty! And so does this house. Let's add even more color to it. Ow! And now it's time to decorate this place. Like adding a cozy brick chimney up here on this roof. And I found these cool spruce support beams that we can put up here. And of course I had to make colorful glass panes again. We're gonna have these here in the front and then these cool ones here on the sides. Oh my gosh, I love them. Now this just needs leaves and flowers all around it. And I need sleep because it's scary nighttime. Ugh. I do have the leaves to place all around the house, but I also want tall flowers. Maybe there's something to steal from Red's Island. Oops, there she is. Ooh, there are these pretty big tall flowers. Bomeo, bomeo, bomeo. I did some stealing and I didn't get caught. And then there are also these huge tall flowers that look really cool. Give, 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 give. And then of course we still have the regular vanilla flowers that we can also steal. And now I can't decide which one looks the best. So I'm just gonna use all of them. Oh come on, you had to ruin my cottage core moment. Okay, actually I might buy this red wood. And now we have some rare new wood. Oh no, the trader just despawned. Where could he have gone? And now we have two new llama friends. And they're weird and going crazy. And I can also put cute carpets on my new llama pets. Oh my gosh, he's pink. And now this one is gonna be blue. I'm gonna name them Cotton and Candy. Because the carpets are the cotton candy colors. Stop hitting me. Okay, I'm just gonna run away and keep building the house. Oh man, they hate me. Ow! I'm leaving. Oh, he's at my door. Ah, this is their island now. Oh no, he's following. No, ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's quickly remove the evidence. Hello, Mr. Llama, it's me, the wandering trader. Wait, he's leaving. <laughs> it worked. How did that literally just work? Let's move on from whatever that weird experience was and add a little garden chair and table right here in front of the house. I think it needs one last decoration before the exterior is done. I want lanterns, but of course I don't want the normal ones. And to get one of these cool lanterns, we need to make a tinkering table. This definitely does not look safe and it looks like somebody butchered the wandering trader under there. And now I can turn these regular lanterns into the wooden cage lantern okay look at this they look so cool and magical and now we can do the interior and also put those lanterns everywhere like one up here in the ceiling which i also decorated with leaves and i want to put some cute furniture in here and i heard there's another mod that can make tables there's this oak table and you need oak boards to make it which i obtained by throwing planks on a stone cutter okay let's try Yay! Okay, that was easy. And now we can craft so much cool stuff. And now we can place the table down and make a little oak wood interior. And then we can also make wooden cups and bowls. And wait, I think you can put the fish on the plate. I'm so hyped I need to show someone. So I invited Red to a dinner party. Now that it's getting oh. dark and scary, may I invite you inside for a little dinner party? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. All of this. <gasps> the cups and the little pots. I need to oh. I need to get oh. a special item before we eat. Okay, please take oh, a yeah. seat. We're cute. And now oh. the special item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you've got the horns hat. Nice. And you're the you angel. The fish? So it's a demon oh my gosh. and an angel <gasps> dining. Wait, can oh you gosh. actually can I you actually that. eat the food? Wait, I can't get it off the plate. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Fake we dinner. Just look at it. Wait, I I I have. Fish. Oh yeah. I'm num. I'm not I'm hungry num. right now. I'm not hungry num, either. Num 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 num. num, 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 num. <laughs> And after that lovely dinner party, I went back into the mines to stock up on more resources and then came across a zombie spawner. 
And this happened. Now let's check the chest. Golden apple and saddle. Ah, creeper! Ah, 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 no, 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 ah, no, no, not the spawner! Hmm. Oops. We blew up the spawner, but at least we found some diamonds. Two diamonds. Going mining was, well, relaxing. Not really. But it gave us all these nice resources. But now it's time to get down to business. I don't know why I'm saying that in front of the kitchen knife. I mentioned earlier that Frog Crafting and I have plans together and it involves the zombie spawner she found. Not the one I blew up, the one at her base. So I went over to meet her and disaster struck straight away. Don't touch the pig! No! 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 Ah! Oh, I hate this! <laughs> I hate this game! I'm leaving! Ah! Ignoring whatever just happened, we went into Frog's house to look at some hats. Since the last time we met up, I killed some more zombies and I found some more hats. This one's yours to keep. <laughs> What is that? RGB Easter Island guy. He has nose holes. Then we got some cute building blocks from a geode before going down the long bulky staircase to the zombie spawner. We started digging out the room to make the farm, but we removed the torches so the zombies can spawn so we could farm hats from them. Priorities. I got an epic hat grab bag. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open, it, open, open it, open it, open it. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a magic cup. Oh my gosh, this is like, oh my gosh, this is like a dream come true. I'm never taking this off. Then we finished up the farm with a water stream to push the zombies into the kill chamber. And then we procrastinated and killed tons of zombies to see what hats we would get. Oh my god. It's a little <gasps> plant. Oh, it's a sapling. Oh my god. No, no way. You got a dragon. <laughs> well, that's kind of <laughs> sus. Epic hat bag. It's a crab. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and tiny. This is so perfect for like beach outfit. Ah! RGB <laughs> sunglasses. I'm back in business. Like look at all those hats we have. We're gonna get rich from those. After all the screaming over hats, we had to go caving and luckily there was a huge cave system right next to the zombie farm. We needed redstone, gold and iron so we could craft rails to easily get up and down to the zombie spawner. It was late at night so the whole trip got very unhinged and chaotic. Whoa, no way. No way, frog, frog. No way, look what I just found. <laughs> what is that? It's a glare. I love this glare. Okay. Who cares? But but the glare. It's useless. No. He didn't win. Oh wait, there's but, more redstone up here. Come up. But the glare. We need the redstone. But the glare. Diamonds, no. diamonds, diamonds, no. diamonds, 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 diamonds. Ah! Oh, that was falling gravel. <laughs> You deserved that. But there was a glare. You get lost because all you care about is the glare. But the glare is cute. I like the glare. No, it's not. It's ugly. What? But it's it's a cute grumpy bush and it has eyes and it's cute. I'm putting it in the lava. No, not the glare. No. Oh no, my god. The glare. No. <laughs> Don't kill. I swear to God. No, you killed the glare. No. He, he dropped blueberries. Ooh, I was hungry. nice. But the glare. After we got enough resources, Frog started decorating the spawner room while I worked on the minecart track while still crying about the glare. And it didn't get any less unhinged. What is that? Is that like greasy? It's a beard. It looks like pus. You look like pus. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> we are literally unhinged right now. <laughs> yeah. We made a minecart rail and it's really slow and weird. I was also in charge of getting frogs some building materials for the spawner room. So of course I had to mess with her. Brought some charcoal from my house and now it's gone and I feel like you were responsible for that. It wasn't me. I also didn't steal your jungle planks. Why would you take those? Those were, I brought those from my house. Those were my personal <laughs> items. Did you pick up my spruce wood? I brought that from my house. <laughs> What? Oh, I hate that. Do you have any amethyst? <laughs> no. <laughs> there's there's uh, two stacks in my chest that I brought from home. And after a few hours, we had a nicely decorated spawner room and labeled our chest with our personal items that we brought from home. Does she dare look at my chest of my personal items that I brought from home? Don't look at it. Don't look at anything. You smell so bad. You smell so bad. How dare you? I do not. You yes, be you nice do. to me. You be nice to me. You killed my glare. It was you my deserved. glare. I, I've, I've killed three, actually. What? Now that we had the coziest spawner room, we wanted to build a hat shop on top. For that, we need Skyrus wood, which means I get to do another little trade with red. I am building something really cool with frog, and we need Skyrus wood. How much do you need? 
I don't know, like, like two stacks or something. What do you have to trade in exchange for all the Skyrus wood? Uh, my gratitude? Just kidding. <laughs> no, we just made a zombie XP farm if you want to like enchant your tools and stuff. I showed Red the XP farm and we got a bit carried away trying on some hats. Oh, oh we're angels! That's cute! So cute! <laughs> but I think Red will now definitely be a loyal customer of the hat shop. And while Frog was sleeping peacefully, I stayed up all night trying to rescue a glare before she killed them all. Look what I see over there. It's a glare! But it's right above the lava and I need to somehow get to it and save it. I brought a lead. Come on, glare. Yeah, through here. And up the stairs. Good glare. Look at this silly grumpy bush! So cute! Woo -hoo -hoo, I almost fell in the cave. Okay, I'm gonna bring the glare in my mining house. And I'm just gonna put it on the ceiling. It's gonna be fine, right? You're, you're my new floating cabbage lamp and i'm gonna name him oscar oscar c glarington the c stands for cabbage and then it was time to meet back up with frog yo hey sev hey frog how'd you sleep well i think i had some nightmares about somebody killing my glares but i think it was just a dream so now it was time to start building the hat shop on top of the zombie farm right in the middle of the scary dark oak forest so the first thing we did was chop down some trees so we ended up with a nice open clearing to build in we did not plan the build at all so we tried to figure out a layout of the house by placing down cobblestone as a temporary planning block and then we ended up with this cool looking shape of course things didn't get any less unhinged what the heck is this? Horse? Horse. horse crafting? Oh, you threw the horse head on the ground. I'm a horse. That's so ridiculous. It suits you. Are you saying I'm a horse face? Before we went back to building, we had to hit the mines and gather diorite of all things, which was an essential material for our hat shop build. Then we finally got to work on the walls of the house using stripped dark oak logs in the corners and a variety of modded diorite wool and calcite blocks as the walls in between. The texture was looking really nice. The build was starting to get bigger and we were working really hard to try and make it as beautiful as possible. I was just minding my own business, peacefully raising up the walls of the house to make a second floor when I took a step back to admire our work so far and Mr. Creeper wanted to express his feelings about us building a giant house in his forest. What the heck? What the heck? I just died! No, I had 40 levels! No, I have seven. We'll be able to get him back. We have a spawner. We have, we, it'll be fine. <laughs> After that experience, we got to work on the roof, starting it off with a nice spruce trim wall that will add some lighter warm wood colors to this building. Then I got ambushed by a sneaky pillager and stabbed him with a knife before returning to build the roof, filling it in with a nice blue Skyrus wood that Red kindly traded us for access to our XP farm. And I really love how it looked together with the rest of the colors of this build. I took a short little break from building to trade my spruce wood for some calcite with spark leg, and she was really nice. Business! Then I went back to decorating the house walls using pretty blue windows and cozy spruce decorations around it. And after a few more grindy days, we were ready to open the shop. So shall we go and, and do the final reveal? Yes, let's tour our new hat shop. Whoa. It looks so pretty. It does. So you can walk directly through the shop and into a pathway that's going to eventually lead to what, like my base? Here is the shop and wow, you did such a beautiful job decorating this place. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, I did lots of lush blocks in the ceiling and then we did this lovely hat shelf together and had all the heads on display. Isn't that cool? So this is our current stock that we're going to be trading with the other gals. And we do have some special heads over here. These ones are a little bit more pricey. Did you see I um I named our cashier? Taco. <laughs> I miss tacos from back home so much. Me too, actually. And then in here you have the XP farm entrance and there's just some more miscellaneous funny hat stuff in here. But we haven't even looked at the best part yet. Our private office. Employees only. This is my desk. I have a beach chair and it's cozy and I have cute decoration like pants yeah well this is my luxurious secret labs chair i had flown in from amazon prime what i brought a drone why didn't you bring like anything else like help or food amazon prime only delivers what you order like you could also order it but you could have ordered like tacos i do miss tacos this is our secret safe it's actually called a barrel and it has hats. Don't tell people what it is. They have to crack the combination. But the combination is just right click on it. No, don't hit me. I'm leaving out your open window. Well, Sev, I've got to say that 
This has been such a great experience to work together. I really had a lot of fun. Me too. And we filled up this really cool shop and hopefully we're going to get really rich from it. I think we will. Actually, so, you know, um, I got you a gift. Oh, yeah? Um, because you like animals so much and um, you're a little bit sweaty. Sweaty? It's flies. Are you saying that I stink? Um, no, I mean, you just really love animals and you have like a sticky, sweaty moisture to you that I feel like they'd be really attracted to. Um, okay. Well, actually, I also have a gift for you because you're such an entitled little princess who thinks everybody smells. So this is for you. Wow. Uh, you know, it's actually funny. My dad calls me princess. So this really works. Yeah, it suits you really well. Yeah, you're, you're the flies, you know, also suit you. Just because you love animals so much, you would never yeah. hurt an animal. Yeah, exactly. I would never hurt an animal. I, I know that you're not giving me this crown because you think that I'm some, like, better than you acting person. Like, it's just because I'm actual royalty, that's all. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, well, I think that we should meet up in a couple days to check on our profits. If you yes. want to come back, we can have a meeting in our office. Oh, yeah, and then we can talk business. Business. Okay, business. well. Wow, I did so much today. I made a cozy mining entrance house, and then Frog and I built a zombie XP farm and a giant hat shop on top. I also grinded to 30 levels, so hopefully we can get enchanted gear soon. But Island Life with the gals has been really fun so far, and I hope you're enjoying it too. Oh my god, Steph. What? You gotta see this hat that I just got. <laughs> Are you ready? You're not ready for this. I'm ready. Turn around, turn around. Okay. Okay, turn back. <laughs> what is that? Oi. I'm blocked down fields in it. <laughs> you look gonna build like a castle. A castle. A castle in it. With, with me bowl of water and me cup of tea. Bowl of water. And I finally have enough XP levels so I can enchant my diamond tools. But first I have to make those tools. I only have this broken diamond pickaxe and that won't do. So let's use our 10 diamonds to make some nice stuff. Like a new pickaxe and also an axe. And let's also make a diamond sword. And we can make one more thing. Let's maybe do a shovel. One diamond left. Now let's take the lapis and go to the enchanting area. Oh, this place has changed since I've last been here. Broken Drift added a little gazebo on top of the enchanting table. It's looking so cozy. And here we also have some lapis, but I did bring my own. And a donation bin. I guess we have to pay if we use this enchanting table. I have a nice idea for the payment, but first, let's enchant our tools. First the diamond pickaxe. Ooh, efficiency 4. <gasps> and fortune 2! That is so good. We have 31 levels, so it's enough for one more tool enchant before I have to go hit the zombie farm. Efficiency 4. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is really good. This is really, really good. Now I just gotta farm some XP from those zombies really quick. And there's a chicken in there. No, poor chicken. 35 levels should be enough, right? And before we go back up, I need to look at all those hat bags that I got from killing the zombies. Oh my god, I got weird big eyes. I see you twice. Yeah, mostly some weird hats. Let's open the epic ones. Another magic carp and a weird cat face thing. I don't even know what this is. And a bee hat. It looks like I'm a TV bee. Wait, I just found out you can turn the bee into a rainbow bee. It's so cute. Also, I got a shiny Magikarp hat. But enough screaming about hats. Let's go back up and enchant the rest of our diamond tools. Let's see what we get on the shovel. I'm breaking. Oh, efficiency, but fortune kind of bad. And the diamond sword. Sharpness. Just sharpness. It's fine. I'm not crying. And to thank Broken Drift for setting this up, they're getting a star. But I didn't just have plans to enchant all my diamond tools, but also to make a sheep farm because I'm the only one who has all this wool on the server. So we need to produce lots of it to share with the girls so we can get rich. Also look at that lighthouse in the background, it's so pretty! <coughs> to make an automatic sheep farm, I'm going to need observers and for that I need quartz, which can only be found in the nether, which is a horrible dreadful place that I really don't want to go to. But we do have this ruined portal on our islands and it's not finished so we could find some obsidian to finish it up. And maybe some of the other girls also need resources from the nether so we could all go together. So let's go in our lovely mining house and go down to the creepy mines and hopefully find a lava pool to get obsidian and hopefully use my fortune pick to mine more diamonds because my armor isn't looking so good. And that skeleton isn't looking so good either. Let's run away. It's mining time and it feels so good to use a fast diamond pickaxe. Diamonds! Let's see how many we get with our fortune pick. 
I mean, six is good for only two ores. Well, it sounds like I just found some lava. Oh, it's in a cave. Diamonds! Oh, there are gonna be so many creepers. Before I get this obsidian, I need to mine that diamond up there. Diamonds! Come here, diamond. Oh, it's just one. And now it's obsidian time. Okay, ten should be enough, right? And I'll just do a little bit more mining to get some more diamonds. Oh my gosh, I just hit a cave full of glares! Hi! Oh my gosh, they're so cute! Oh, the glares! Don't run away from me! Oh, they're so cute! There's another one! Frog crafting can't find this place. I found 38 diamonds. This is gonna be enough to make armor. Now let's make some boots, the leggings, and the helmet, and of course the chest plate. And we still have 40 diamonds left, so 15 in total. And now once again it is enchanting time. Ooh, respiration. Protection for an unbreaking, this is good. And a really good chest plate. Oh no feather falling. But this is fine, this is fine. This is a really good set of armor. And now we're fully enchanted, but you can't see it because I use an invisible armor texture pack. But I do have a lot of obsidian and this portal is calling. And I'm very scared, so I'm gonna take the girls. And while I was waiting for the girls to go to the nether with me, I started decorating my island. I already made a flowery leaf path and this lovely cobblestone and stone and andesite path. But since I can't plant flowers on this beach, I need some other decorations. There is this sand bucket you can make and it does something really cool. Okay, let's try it out. You take some sand. Okay, it actually takes the sand. And then we can place it down and it makes a sand castle. So we take more sand, we can add to the sand castle. So now it has little towers. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and tiny, I love it. I definitely need to get some sand from the ocean though and not from up here from my beautiful beach. And you can even place the bucket down, look at this. It's a tiny sand castle. I'm so happy about this. I made this little path and a staircase going all the way up to the sheep pen and added some yellow and orange leaves around. But now it is time to go to the nether. And I got myself a summer hat so it's gonna protect me from all the lava. But I don't think that's how it works. So I met up with some of the girls. Ooh, look at everyone's hat. Cute little hat. Yes. little apple. The apple. So cute. I love this. Is everybody this is so here? Potato. Because now it's getting I real. I think so. I've called you all here because I need to go to the nether and I'm sure some of you need to oh. for resources and other cool stuff. So we could go over there Ooh. and fix that portal. Did anybody have flint and steel? Because I forgot. Oh, I do. Yay. I do, I do. Oh, good, bro. Perfect. Nice. Shall we go over Are to the portal? This, guys? I'm scared. Yeah, I'm sure. I have a shield. I also uh, put some helmets, some gold helmets in the chest <gasps> over there preemptively just because I wasn't sure when we were going to do the nether thing, but I did just like ahead of time. So we can grab one of those to be safer. Perfect. Oh, okay. Thank you. Red, you're, the best, you're an angel. <laughs> oh, you're oh, the best. God. <laughs> <laughs> because I literally Jokes. am. <laughs> yes. okay. I bet these birds oh, are gonna end up in the nether and then they'll die. Oh no! Oh, That's Poor true. Birds. Oh wait, are they oh. tamed? Oh no, they're dying! No! No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god! god. No, 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 no. Ow! That's evil. Just... <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> so I built up the portal and then we decided who should go in first. So, we don't know what's beyond there. What if no. a couple of us stay behind and a couple of people go and scope it out? What if mm -hmm. I volunteer? Yeah, me too. Cow. Oh, okay. No, go not to go. No, to stay behind. Just, just, just to make sure like nothing, nothing bad happens. You know. You two can go first. I mean, yeah, you did I volunteer first. Yes. No, I oh, volunteer. No, you guys, no, I you definitely drift. volunteered to go first. No, I don't no, think no, no, we no. can go first because yeah. we're all the way over here. Yeah, I'm like, really in the far. Water. We did eventually figure it out. <gasps> I'm ready. Oh, you have a spyglass. Get in there. All right, guys. No. We'll see you later. See you on the. Oh my god. Oh, they're gonna die. Are they dying? Well, okay, you can come. You can come through. We you can do this. this. We can do this. Got this. <laughs> what if you just don't go? Do you just like want to like head oh? back to like, the hat shop or something? Yeah, Whoa. I need some hats. To be what honest. is that? Yes. Cool. Whoa. Yeah, we don't what have to. That? We don't have to go. No. You cowards! Anyways, come on, get Bye. through here. Get in here. Okay, it's fine. Kind of cool, guys. Uh. We arrived in a weird, slimy yellow biome, but it didn't take long for the first accident to happen. It's kind of that slippery. <gasps> No, no. Oh. Did someone fall? I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm oh okay. my god, are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Ew, I was sliding down that weird honey thing. Ugh. Oh, it is actually disgusting. Oh, it's so gross. Ooh. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh, Drift, things. there's a magma cube behind you. Drift, there's also turn lava around. Wait, very oh, close to you. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh, it's coming. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 that was my fault. <laughs> Guys, I can't see my cats in front of my monitor. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Wait, what is this? There's a lily pad. Oh, God. No. What happened? Oh, no. oh, God. No. <laughs> I think it will be drift. No, it's not me. No, 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 I have a fuse. Oh, oh my God. I got pork. I got a pork chop. Got pork. <laughs> Everything oh is fine because drift got pork. Ooh, quartz. Stop. I'm here for the oh. quartz. I'm scared. Swag. So have you gotten everything you need yet? Because I'd like to go home. I don't. I need quartz. We and then we also need like some need? other cool yeah, stuff. Do you see these cool new biomes? We don't have this on our islands. Like this is all really yes. cool stuff. And we're finally just not stuck on our islands. It's quite Wait, comfortable what if, with what if the we islands. can make another portal somewhere to get out of here? Wait, like, as that's in, so to smart. To get off the islands. Okay, mm -hmm. now I have 10 obsidian, so we could travel somewhere really far in the nether and then try to get off the islands. <gasps> Freedom! Let's try, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Let's go, let's go. But it didn't take long for us to stumble right into danger. Oh, oh, a terrible no. fortress. Oh Here we go. my god. It gosh. is indeed a fortress. Mm -hmm. Creepy modded oh. fortress. Gonna get oh, we're gonna remember oh there's a blaze spawner right there. Ah! Oh, 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 actually. Oh, no, 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 no. So we went into the scary fortress and got attacked straight away by monsters we know all too well from vanilla Minecraft, the blazes. <laughs> Die, blaze. <laughs> Everyone is fight. Oh, there's so many blazes. Nope. Ah! Uh, guys, I found the wither skeletons. <laughs> no. no. Oh, Tell me I you're joking. The wither skeletons. Then we realized this wasn't a normal fortress, but a modded one, so we had to check out those unusual structures. Then I got a scary advancement and realized there has to be a boss somewhere in there. Inside was a lovely room with a couch, but it wasn't as cozy as I thought it would be. There's so many blazes in here. Oh my god. No. <laughs> with a skeleton! Dude. Dude. <laughs> so many. Oh my god, there's so many. Huh? I'm terrified there, right now. Wait, can we just can we break the spawner? Oh, I guess I'm gonna die. How many spawners are there? I feel like if we broke one, we'd be fine. And after that lovely experience, I stole the wither rose from the table by the couch, and then I really wanted to explore this structure even more. I found a trapdoor leading down somewhere. Do we want to go down the trapdoor? Go. Go. Ooh. Go. Yeah, red go. Oh, it's another wart room. The first room was a creepily decorated chamber with a chest in the middle that had a lot of junk in it, but I did steal the gold block from the ceiling. The next room was the office of the king's secretary, so I went in, took him out, and then stole his gold. Yeah, that sounds evil. Then we went upwards from the room with the couch, which was another ugly place full of blazes. And of course I helped myself to the pretty blue lanterns. And then the next room had a weird thing in it. It's a thing yeah. in armor. There's a skeleton wearing netherite armor <laughs> or something. Oh, Drift! Do not go in there! Oh my god, there it is! I'm scared. I'm scared. Help me! But with all the girls working together, we got to take it out and it wasn't that scary after all. But then we went up the final ladder and actually got to see the boss who was the Blaze King. I feel, I like, feel if like if we release him, something bad is gonna happen. It's gonna like explode or something. Let's release yeah. him. Let's uh, <laughs> maybe not. Let's do it. Dev is ready for chaos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you what? weren't kidding. I'm scared, I'm scared. Sev, don't oh, do it. Oh, 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 I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Oh, no! Which one of you did that? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> guys, no! <laughs> I take yes. it all back! <laughs> and after I released the Blaze King like an absolute idiot, we ran away because it was scary. But then I actually went back up and got really scared, so I hid in a corner, blocked myself in, and watched the pigs kill the Blaze King. No, I'm oh, dead. It's oh, no! no! Sparkle! Ah! No. no. And while we all worried about getting Sparkle Egg stuff back, the Blaze King did a nice light show for me. But then out of nowhere, all the girls came together to push the Blaze King off his throne. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. Teamwork, teamwork. Get did it. Did anyone get it? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <gasps> oh, we did it. We, we did it. it. It's done. It. And after we defeated the Blaze King, we went to look for Sparkle Egg stuff that she lost when she died. And luckily, we did find all of her stuff, and some of it was on a piglin for some reason. But then we could leave the ugly fortress behind and continue our adventure to go really far away to make a portal off the islands. All right, I reckon well, we're pretty far away now, guys. Yeah, all right, Sev, you want to do the honors? You got the obsidian. Okay, I'm scared. This could be it, guys. 
Oh no. Get out. Get out. out. And there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh. Home, I'll go home, through first home. for sure. Oh my god. No, me. No, I'm me. so excited. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going first. No. Oh, oh no. Uh, what? Oh what? no. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. We were so far away. How is this possible? That should have worked. That makes no sense. So after all this screaming and dying and traveling really far in the nether, the portal brought us right back to our islands. I guess oh, island life it is. Okay, well, I reckon we need to get all of this junk in our inventory sorted. And now that we have blaze rods, we should yeah. be able to do something with villagers. Yeah, we've yes. got heaps of stuff. So at least at least we have the nether. That's, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. We can go in Looking there and on get the bright more things. Side. I hate the nether. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't like it there. I'm, I'm going scary. home. Same. But the nether trip wasn't all bad because we got so much nether quartz. And all this other random weird stuff like blue netherrack and the head of a creepy magma cube. And it's staring at me. Ugh. But now it is time to give those sheep a home in a tiny one block farm. So let's craft up some observers with the nether quartz we got. And what else do you need for a sheep farm? Definitely some redstone and definitely a bunch of hoppers. And we also need a ton of dispensers. So I'm just gonna craft up all these old bows I have lying around in my chests. Let's make the sheep farm. I was thinking of putting it into little structures on the water in between mine and Red's island. So let's build up some pillars using palm blocks. And with those pillars, I'm gonna make a nice round circle. And then on top of these circles, I wanna put a platform and then on the platform, the sheep farm. And I just need to figure out a way to get up on those pillars. Ha! That was a fail. Okay, I can do it. I can do it! No! Oh, I know. Scaffolding. Haha! -ha. Ow. And now we're just gonna make a nice spruce wood platform with those lovely different spruce wood textures. This is the center of the platform, so we're gonna start off the farm right here by placing a lot of hoppers into this barrel. Then I'm quickly gonna run back to my base because I forgot one of the most important resources for this sheep farm, which is of course glass to box in the sheep. And of course we're gonna use the chip workbench to change the glass to this beautiful one here. I already built up the basic structure of the farm, now we just need to place down some rails and then put the hopper minecarts on top. And then I somehow need to get rid of the rails. Yes, I got it. And I got it. And I'm just gonna push a grass block into the minecart. The minecart is in here and it's gonna pick everything up and put it into the chest. We can fit three sheep in there, so we just need to put them in there. I'm just gonna try to get some of different colors to come with me. Oh no, not all of you. No, bad sheep. No, stay in here. No, no, it's so me. Go away. No, no, no. <laughs> now literally all of them are escaping. No. All right, sheep, come on, jump. You can do it, jump, 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 jump. Yes, good sheep. Now there's no escape off this platform. Ha <laughs> ha In you go. Yay, we got the first sheep in. And I think I can already go ahead and put some shears in the dispensers so the farm can actually get some wool for us. And I've gone ahead and built the same module right on top of the first one. And most of the sheep in there are orange sheep because I need orange wool for this build that I'm gonna put around this farm. But it's gonna take a long time for this farm to produce a lot of those wool blocks. So I'm just gonna start to copy over this farm onto this platform. And now both of the farm modules are done. But I don't wanna put an orange build around this one because this one is gonna be green. Lime green. And I don't have any green or lime dye. But I heard Brooke does, so we're gonna do a little trade. Oh, Brooke. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're there. I didn't even see Hi. you. <laughs> I'm actually here because I heard you have green dye and I need it for my sheep. I do have green dye. So while Brooke was getting the green dye, I got to look at her house. Oh my gosh. You it's have a, a little bit messy. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Don't <laughs> mind me just touring your house. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so green dye. A wandering trader came by. So I'm pretty sure this is the only green dye on these whole islands. How many do you have? I actually have more than one. There's three. Oh my gosh, you have three? Wait, so that means I can make lime dye and I can make cyan dye and green dye and then we can have it on the wall. Yay! And in exchange for that green dye, I didn't only give her some wool, but I'm also gonna give her unlimited access to my sheep farm. Sheep farm. Sheep farm. Sheep farm. Oh yeah. Ow, stupid lag. <laughs> it's like an ad. Sheep farm, open today. <laughs> I, I just drowned. Why are we so unhinged? Then I showed Brooke my ugly unfinished sheep farm that will hopefully have a lovely build soon thanks to her green dye. Have you seen my shop yet, by the way? Wait, you made a shop? <gasps> oh yeah, I made a food shop. Do you want to have a look? 
So we went to check out her grocery store, which was only accessible through the water. Swimming time. Sheep farm. Sheep farm. No, grocery store. Oh, yeah. Grocery store. Oh, yeah. We're like Disney princesses that break into song randomly. This is oh. the, the checkout area. This is Nason. <laughs> wait, wait, I made him. Was it you? I made this guy. Drift was streaming and I made this guy and put him in her base. I saw him outside her base and I asked him if he'd like a job. And he said yes. <laughs> so what? now he's here. Then Brooke showed me a stock of different kinds of crops and vegetables, and of course it had to get unhinged again. Can I take a rotten I tomato? <laughs> yes, I don't even know what they're for, but you can take it. Let me know if you figure out what to do with it. Wait, I just threw it. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's just, gone. It's gone. No, my it's tomato. Gone. My you tomato. just threw it at me. I, I guess that's what you do with it. Well, thanks for showing me your shop and giving me the green dye. I just turn around and you're like hurting yourself. <laughs> You're like, thank you, <laughs> And I can craft one green dye into two lime dye, and then the other one into cyan dye. So I started breeding some sheep with those lovely new colors I got. And now all the sheep are in place and all the colors that Brooke gave me are safe and sound in the farm. And I also gathered enough orange wool so we can get started on the first build. But of course we're gonna change the texture of the wool using the loom. So now we have these two really nice looking blocks. I also need some moss blocks for what I've planned, so I'm quickly gonna go down into the scary mines and try to find some. And of course it has to be in the scary cave, so I'm quickly just gonna steal some from the ceiling. Oh my gosh, there's slimes here. Slime balls, free stuff. Oh, creeper, no. I just got headphones and a hat bag from creepers. Nice, now I can listen to music while I build my sheep farm. And the music went like this. Shop the sheep farm today. Twenty like percent off for your first purchase. Sheep farm. Oh yeah. I just found sheep farm. Sheep farm. Sheep farm. Oh yeah. Ow. Stupid lag. You're thinking, what did I just watch? And I'm thinking, what did I just make? So I may have potentially built SpongeBob's house unintentionally, but actually intentionally. And I also got a bit carried away and I already made a huge path on the water leading to both of the builds, which I still haven't built. And I think it's looking really nice and I can even do some fishing here. And then when we go up into the house, we have all the sheep farms here, the first floor with all the wool. And then when we go up the ladder, we have the second floor with more sheep. And then we just go up the ladder in the middle and it brings us to this beautiful cozy area on the roof. And up there, the leaves of the pineapple are actually moss in a sponge texture because SpongeBob. But I'm still waiting to get enough lime wool so I can build this house here. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna go over this beautiful path and decorate it more. I've already added this really nice stony rocky path leading all the way to my house over this leaf bridge. I think what's missing around here is definitely the lighting, so I brought my tall palm torches and they look really nice and they continue all the beach vibes all around the islands. They could even go here, it's looking good. And of course it had to start raining. I also brought my spruce board so we can make some lovely chairs and tables and then maybe put one by the dock so I can sit here and fish. And then maybe over here an oak table and some chairs so they could sit here and maybe play chess by the ocean. And I've also been looking at the mods we have and there are actual plushies. And now we can craft a sheep plushie. Let's put it here by the farm. Oh, it's a tiny little sheep. It's so cute. And there's a dolphin plushie. And I have plans for those later. I've also made this really cute kitty cat plushie and it's like a little real cat sitting at the docks waiting for someone. And then there's this tiny little enderman that appeared out of nowhere. But while I was decorating these dogs, I actually got enough wool, so I already crafted up all of the other resources too, so we can go ahead and build the second wool farmhouse. This time without cheap farm music, I promise. Unless... Sheep farm! Just kidding, I'm not gonna do it again. Sheep farm! And now we don't only have Spongebob's house, but also a lime green Spongebob house. And it is built the exact same way as this one, just in lime green. But now that I've done a sheep farm, maybe I should make a little market stall to offer the wool to people. And I'm definitely gonna make this on the main starter island, because we already have the enchanting set up there. Let's first make the frame of the market stall using a variety of spruce materials. And of course I had to mix in the modded ones as well, like the palisades and the tables. Then I'll do the market stall overhang thing, whatever you may call it, using pink wool with a lovely modded texture that makes it look even cuter. And of course I still have to detail it with banners. 
And it is looking really cute so far. Then the next step is to get some storage down for the wall we're gonna sell, which I also totally forgot at home. And for that I'm gonna use spruce cabinets and the classic chests. I've also put down the lovely path, but now it's time to let people know that this is a sheep shop. Well, a wool shop. We're not gonna sell these sheep. Why am I holding a big sheep in my hand? The plushie is looking so weird. So let's put them here so they're looking at each other. Then I'm also gonna stack some books here because why not? And a hat stand with a sheep head. I swear there was no animal cruelty involved. And of course now it is raining. But I left some signs. The finest wool for all your decoration needs. And this chest here is for the donation so they can give us some lovely stuff in exchange for my wool. And sheep murderers pay extra. That means you infinite drift. I know what you did. And now we have all the rainbow colors and the white wool because it didn't fit in this chest. And I hope the girls will have some uses for this wool. I definitely do. That sounded evil because it is evil. While I was building the wool farm, I came up with the perfect plan to get back at Frog for killing my glares. In between all the decorating, I've been crafting up a lot of dolphin plushies. And with that I mean a lot of dolphin plushies. Because there's one thing that frog crafting hates more than glares, the evil people of the sea, dolphins. So I went over to her house to leave her the gift of many dolphin plushies. I'm definitely gonna put some over her bed. Ooh, so creepy. Ugh. She's also gonna love them hiding everywhere around her base. And I'm just gonna leave them in really random places where she's never gonna find them. You know, I really gotta share my love for animals with her. Since I love them so much, my work here is done. Hehe. <laughs> I've done a very bad thing today. But I've also did something good today because I built these lovely sheep farms that look like Spongebob's house. But it means now we have so much wool that all the girls and myself can use for lovely decorations. Especially those adorable little plushies. Last episode I built this sheep farm hidden in the pineapples, hoping to help the girls get some wool and so far I've been really successful with that. Like when Amber came by. You know this thing that you need to do, it's called sleeping? Yes. Every now and then? I no. never do it. Well, me neither, but not because I don't want to. It's because I don't have a bed. What? And I heard that you, you, you know, can help me out. Do you want wool? Yes, please. So we traded a whole stack of white wool for some food because I was kind of hungry. Bread. There's an Enderman <laughs> behind you. <laughs> it's just a plushie. And then Red came over and wanted to trade some sprues. I've come to trade. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I'll have you now. You get it? No, just get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I traded my spruce for her jacaranda wood, which I'm gonna use later today. But Red also had another plan. With these uh, little like sheep shop farms, uh, do you need someone to like man the docks here? You know, keep an eye on these uh, sheep because I think I have someone, uh, a oh, little yeah? friend that I think really would fit the, the vibe of these uh, pineapples, because they remind me of SpongeBob a little bit, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, it does look like SpongeBob. Yeah, we need like a guard. I only have plushies, but they're like plushies. I have the perfect person for you. Is it Drift? I, uh... <laughs> because she stays. <laughs> no, I don't I don't uh, want her on here. Is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those socks and those socks and flip flops, man, you know, they're, they're yeah. probably pretty smelly. Kinda at this greasy. Point. <laughs> uh but no, the person I have in mind is actually named Gary. Meet oh, Gary. He's scared. And after a bit of screaming and obsessing over Gary the snail, we moved him up to the pineapple where he can live peacefully without getting trampled. And because Gary is a very shy snail, he only comes out when we're far away, so we watched him from a scaffolding tower. Oh my gosh, Look at him! the back of the chair! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Don't I, fall. I oh, shifted when I shouldn't have shifted. So cute! He's so cute. I cry. feel like he'll stay. That was a good spot. <laughs> oh, okay. It's always so much fun to trade with the other girls. And with all the different resources, we can make island life a lot easier for ourselves. But one major thing we are still missing is the mending trade and villager trading in general. These islands sadly didn't come with a village, so we have to use zombified villagers that we can find underground. And I've had one growling in this hole since probably day one on this island. I trapped him in a hole and since we cannot craft boats, I had to use my precious iron to put him in a minecart. So he's just in here waiting to get cured and trade us useful stuff. Oh, don't look at me like that. Ugh, creepy. And Drift also has a zombified villager in her creepy caves that we trapped together on her stream. I think Red brought the blaze rods from the nether so we can cure them with a potion. And together we can hopefully get a mending trade out of these stinky villagers. Let's meet up with the gals. So we met up at our first campsite and got really excited about getting mending books soon. 
Yay. And my tools won't start breaking anymore. I like yeah, to have let's, mending. Let's do it. Yeah, not only yeah, will people too. be eternally grateful, but also we can probably get mad cash for this. Oh my gosh. True. Business times. <laughs> Business <laughs> says. <laughs> oh, the chicken likes mm -hmm. the idea. Oh, probably he not. Does. No, he's, he's he, mad. He oh. left. So the first step was to rescue Drift Zombified Villager from the caves. You know, I'm down for it. I've got Same. my iron tools. I've got not much. I really need um, mending really bad. I have bread. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. I have green apples. I have spider yeah. eyes. I have a stick. I have a crab on my head. Yeah, we weren't really prepared, but we went down to the caves anyways. Into oh, the thick I was gonna of it. jump oh. in like an idiot, but... I ah, yep, almost did that. I survived. Ow. Oh no! Oh, oh that was really scary. <gasps> oh, I just failed, oh, MLG. Seb just fell. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, no. Whoa! And after a random creeper explosion and fighting off zombies and skellies, we made our way through the giant cave to find the villager. Socks and sandals rule and drift is good at Fortnite. <laughs> That's All his truth, name. Honestly. What a name. What do we do? Do we just break the minecart? Yeah, break the minecart. Yes. And then he's Ow. gonna chase you. Okay. All right, drift. It's Lead him on. on to it's you. me. Let yep, me know if so... I'm going too fast or too slow. Okay. Okay. We'll just try to get him uh safely over? just keep going socks and sandals ruin drift is good at fortnite drift be careful yeah, socks on, and sandals, sandals. ruin drift is good at fortnite is coming after you <laughs> socks and sandals rule come on this way drift is good at fortnite i think he really just wants your socks and sandals i think he that's what it really, really is. does yep. look at his little shoes they're just like he's like no these don't oh, compare yeah. you know i want some sandies creeper oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> why why Dang it! <laughs> oh, no. What was that timing? What the heck? <laughs> Socks and Sandals rule and Drift is good at Fortnite. No! no. no. Socks and Sandals rule and Drift is good at Fortnite. No! That's actually a tragedy, guys, because we can't even get more villagers now. You were so good, man. You know what? You loved this minecart. Oh, yeah. He you loved it. Cart. He was oh. our friend. Oh. He hated us, but he was our friend. You know what they say. <laughs> You win some, you lose some. And we lost socks and sandals. Rule. Drift is good at Fortnite. Ooh, I found Go gold. <laughs> 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 so we only had one zombified villager left, which was the one hidden in my base. But we decided to cure him first before we moved him around in case any more accidents happen, like the sun burning it. So we started making a potion of weakness. Does anyone have gunpowder on them? Oh, I, I have, have some at my base. I have one oh, in my inventory. Dang it. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Nice. Yay. From that creeper that, you know. Oh. Ugh. Well, we're well. using his remains on a potion now, so <laughs> yeah. it all came Putting full it circle. There he is, Ready? in all his glory. So we threw a potion at the zombie villager and gave him a golden apple to eat. Is he shirtless? What the heck is this guy even? Wait. No, that's just a top that he's wearing. <laughs> oh, how wrong they were. Yeah, you're right. He's topless. He he's is not topless. Wearing a top. Ew. Wait. He's wearing <laughs> board he's shorts. Wearing swim <laughs> yeah, why is he wearing board <laughs> why shorts? Why is he naked? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so we tried to move him around using the composter as a lure. He just doesn't why care. Does he why does he, he not want for the this? beach, dude? I swear if he tramples my sandcastle, I'm gonna kill him. I hate villagers. He doesn't want to be a farmer. Move, villager. Dude, come on. He wants He's... beach. That's it. He he does his job is beach. That's his job. Ben is beach. Oh my gosh, he's he's so close to the sandcastle. I swear, I swear to God. Oh my god. No. You do not you do not touch do it, my sandcastle. You don't even look at it. Don't yeah. look at it. I feel like he wants the barrel in your house. <gasps> oh wait, no. Yep, no. He oh, trapped he my broke it! You're gonna die, good sir. You're gonna die. <laughs> ha, Sam, I think oh. he just wants to like live with you. He's like, this place is awesome. He's gross, he's naked, and he's ugly. And after I stopped being angry at the villager for destroying my precious sandcastle, we made a minecart track leading all the way to Red's Island, where he will be imprisoned for life for sandcastle destruction. We got him in! Oh my gosh. And then let's just put that there for good measure. We did we got it! A villager! We did it! <gasps> Yay! Yay! Now Yay. we just have to find another one. Yay. Great. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <sighs> Yay. Yay. But because we've already seen enough villagers for today, we decided to meet back up in a couple days and then continue our great plans for the villager. But there was no time to mourn the loss of my sandcastle because I had to tackle another big project, which is my storage. When I made the starter house, I didn't know that with all the modded blocks and all the modded hats, there wouldn't be enough space in here to have a proper storage. 
So it's just been mess after mess and lots of random blocks scattered around. So I thought I should fix that and build a giant storage house. And I want the storage house to be near where I start a house. So maybe if we just go up the stairs, we can make one right here at the end of the path. We just need to get rid of some of those palm trees that are just randomly growing here. And I think my tiny little baby crop farm has to go as well. And I'll just expand this platform using more sand so we have a nice flat surface to build on. And now I just need to build a giant storage house right here using a lot of different modded blocks. And with that I mean spruce wood and birch wood but I'm gonna change the textures. Because this is birch but modded birch. So I'm just gonna go over to Red's Island and break all her birch trees. I'm so evil. So I went there to steal her trees but of course I replanted them. And Red was actually there not so AFK. And I got attacked by monsters. I think that's karma. Also I got these adorable kitty cat headphones. And now I'm just gonna turn the normal birch planks into the modded textures I want. And in between the resource grinding every time it got night time I went out looking for a zombified villager. Maybe we're gonna get lucky and find one somewhere on these islands. I sadly didn't find a zombie villager, but I got a lot of wood materials together. So let's take some strips, spruce logs and start building the frames of the house. And with frame of the house I mean going up with the spruce logs in every single corner and then connecting them all together so we have a nice wall frame so we can put all the nice decoration behind it. Like maybe the rest of the walls because these are just the pillars around the walls. And with those spruce supports they look even more supportive. Get it? It gives those pillars a nice round curve up at the top and down here. Now I just gotta do something like this on every single side so we have a nice house wall. And then maybe the bottom block should be this reinforced spruce wood to give it a bit more strength at the bottom. I'm just gonna connect those small bits here using more of those support things and trapdoors. Ah, phantoms are here! Leave me alone, I just wanna build! Go away! Leave and don't come back! Aha! Hat bag! Ow! Let's see what's in the hat bag. A camera beard. What even is this? It's a camera and a beard. I do not like. No more phantoms. Ah, oh, come on. Phantom head. But after I was done messing with the phantoms, I actually found a zombified villager right on Red's Island while she was AFK right next to it. So I started screaming until she came back and we trapped it together and we finally had a second villager. Then we also cured that villager and hopefully he can be our second librarian since Red already turned the first one into a mending guy who's still very disgustingly naked under his library clothes. He's just a normal ugly guy. Hi there, no, no, no. peasant Ken. We have Beach Ken with his naked dress code. Naked. And we have Peasant Ken in the usual peasant rags. We wanted to get an unbreaking trade out of this guy, so I started rolling the trades. I think Peasant Ken didn't like me though. Backstabbing I'm three. I'm what that even means. This like, guy. If we get hit from behind. Yeah, maybe he just wants to backstab me. Maybe it's not an enchant for our maybe. stuff. Yeah, it's just backstabbing. Now he's just selling me he's books. He's sending you a message. Power one. Oh, you'll regret that, peasant Ken. Infinity. Yeah, I'm infinitely annoyed at you, you little, little peasant. Curse of vanishing. I'm gonna make you vanish. He just doesn't want to do it. I, I, I tried threatening him. I tried being nice. Well, actually, I haven't tried being nice. Oh, peasant Ken. Can I just call you Ken? Hi. Yeah, have I told you that your brown poop-stained peasant rags are looking quite lovely today? Could you please, please be so kind and give me unbreaking for you? Please. Mending? Okay, I mean, we're going in the right direction, but we already have mending. Mending again! Mending again, I swear to God! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Why? Literally, after we get mending, then we get more mending. I realized that villager's never gonna give me unbreaking, so I left Red to figure out the peasant can situation and went back to building my storage house. Let's take out all of those beautifully textured birch blocks. And then I'll just do a mix of them as the walls. That's gonna go all around this build. This is already looking like a really nice start of a build. And we have so much space in here, we can definitely fit two floors in here and a whole bunch of storage. And I was thinking to make the floor out of these really cool blocks. They call it shifted spruce planks and they look really nice. I usually just do ladders going up to another floor but this time I want to do a lovely big staircase. It's gonna give this house a really nice vibe. What is that outside my window? Whoa. Oh no, they saw me. No, <laughs> creeper, no. Well, as long as they don't follow me up here. And this second floor is gonna be made out of oak wood. 
this way we're gonna mix some brighter colors in here because it's already looking pretty dark down there. But not that dark because I placed on torches. No creepers in my house. And so the creepers don't come in uninvited. I made some lovely windows. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm also gonna make a nice circular frame around this window here. And after adding a couple more decorations like leaves and lattices, the exterior of the build was done. Minus the roof of course, because this is gonna be a big project on top of it. But so far I'm already so happy with this round window and all the leaves and colors and the vines. And we added a mod that when you shear the vines, they won't grow anywhere. So now vines are actually useful for building! I'm so happy! But before I get started on the big main roof, I wanna attach a smaller building to the side of this house. For the walls, I'm gonna use different kinds of oak materials, so it's not the same as the entire birch wall over there. And a spruce slab roof on top of the whole thing. But I wanna fill this in with a modded wood type. I traded all this jacaranda wood with red. I think now it can come in handy. This color is nice, right? And I think there's another pinkish kind of wood type that Brooke traded me called mahogany, and I can't find it. That is it. Oh my gosh, I found it. Let's see if we can grow one. That was all my bone meal. 10 years later, I was farming a lot of wheat, but the tree finally grew and it just started raining. Wow, that's a really strange looking tree. It's like a wavy texture, but it's pink underneath. I think we can turn that into a nice slab. Let's see how those look together on the roof. Oh, it's magical, like witch and fairy combined. It's perfect, I love those colors. It's a rainbow and frog crafting joined at the same time. But now it's time to build the roof. It's so pretty! Our new and improved storage house, which doesn't have the storage yet, or any lighting. But I think while I was sleeping, Red has already been working on the villagers, so maybe we can trade some lanterns already. Oh yeah, look at that! Ken is a dad! Lanterns! And then we can turn them into those beautiful wooden cage lanterns again. Let there be light and no more creepers. I've already added some lanterns on the wall, so now we can add some chests. But first I need more spruce wood to make those chests. And I'm gonna bring all my workstations over from my base because we no longer need them in the starter house. We need them next to my storage stuff. I didn't know I had so many workstations. So the way I want to do this is to have two rows of chests right here going all the way to the ceiling. And then I'll leave a two block gap and do another row of chests. Whoa, thunderstorm. Let's just ignore that. We're safe here, right? And in between those rows of chests, I want to place the workstation so we have stupid thunder. So we have the carpenter here and the mason here so we can have wood and stone materials in these chests. And then the botanist and the loom up here. And the tinkering table down here. And maybe we can get some barrels and put them under the stairs. Now that's an organized storage. And in this small build to the side, I want to have like a smelting area so we can put the glass blower here to transform all the glass. And I left this hole for a little semi-automatic smelter. I'll just need to sacrifice my precious iron and make some hoppers. And now those hoppers are going into the barrels. And furnace on top. And more barrels on top and then we have a sort of automatic smelter. So when we put stuff in here, it automatically smelts and puts it in the chest. So we can put lots of stuff in here to smelt fast. As long as we have enough furnace fuel. I don't want to go coal mining. And to finish off this little corner, let's add some light. And a little beach table to continue the beach vibes. And some random books. And to sort of separate this area from the rest of the storage, let's hang those weird string things down. What are they called? Rope. I don't know, this kind of gives me beach vibes. Let's also add a really cute orange carpet using those modded carpet textures. Look at them, they're so nice. I also want to decorate the first floor a bit more, so I started looking into more cute blocks like an oak counter. And I really want to learn the handcrafted mod which has cushions and cozy beds and other cool stuff. So let's first place those counters. And then some cozy decorations on top like this panda plushie. It's so cute. And I found another cute lantern that I really like. And a hat stand where I could display one of my favorite hats. And I really want to try those cushions, so let's make a table. We can place them. I'm so excited we can place them down. They're so comfortable. I love this. And I just made this spooky and cursed. But I need to hang something nice on the wall, so I was looking into wall decoration and I found out that you can't only make the normal paintings, but transform them into special fancy paintings. Let's put one up here. Ooh. Wait, is this the birch update? Let's try another. Oh, I like that. I think maybe that could go over there. Ooh, beach vibes. Okay, I love that. It's a deer. I love this. And then this one over there. Something is missing up there, though. A bear. 
There's this bear trophy you can make with just those planks and a rock hard. Come here, fish. Got him. Ooh, iron. Ooh, I'm getting distracted. Yay, we have so much iron. Ah, dolphin! Ew, gross, go away. I'm sorry. That was mean. Sorry, I was scared. And now let's put the bear trophy up here. Perfect. No animal cruelty involved because we didn't kill any bear. Oh wait, we killed a fish. Never mind. I'm getting distracted, but I also saw you can make a teddy bear out of bear fur. So right now I'm just thinking about that bear we have on our islands and I want to shear it and see if it works. I see it. Are you angry? Oh, hi there. Oh, he's friendly. Ah! Oh no, that scared me so bad. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I sheared you. I'm sorry, bear. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's so scary. Oh no. I just wanted a teddy bear. He's chill again. Wait, wait. Turn around, bear. Turn around. I just saw something I didn't want to see. No, no, no. I know you're ashamed, but I need to see this. <laughs> his butt is sheared. No wonder he's mad. I sheared his butt. Well, at least that horrible experience made me realize that I forgot to put a chimney on my house because I saw some really cool brick designs and they're called bricks bricks. Double brick action with those bricks bricks. Let's quickly add the chimney and pretend it was always there. Look at those nice bricks bricks. And MLG bucket down the roof. Oh yeah. Look at them, they're perfect. But now we still gotta decorate the room upstairs. And since I already have lots of storage downstairs, let's dedicate this place to some clothes. And a cozy bedroom. Let's first make a little walk-in wardrobe. So we're just gonna raise up these walls so we can have a place to put all our hats. And then we can have some storage barrels in the ceiling for the extra hats. And then here's some display places. And then I'll just bring all my hats over for my base. Oh, I have so many. I had no idea. This took me so long, but I tried to pick out the cutest cottagecore hats to go in here. Let's add some lighting in here. And of course, some sort of door separating this room from the rest using those windowed birch trap doors. And I also brought these armor stands so we can display some clothes on here. The beach mod has a lot of funny options for clothes that are made from dried kelp. Like some swim wings. And then there's this really funny beach hat. It's covering my eye. I can't see anything. We have a bikini and a summer hat and some shorts and the swim wings and the shades. And then I have some more questionable hats over here. Why is there a spinning rat in the TV? But I don't only want this place to be a weird closet, I also want to put a cozy bedroom over here. I already placed down some of the oak furniture I already had, but in here I want to put a little bed. And I'm gonna make this fancy oak bed. Oh my gosh, we have a bed! It is fancy! And I think how it works is you just place them down and then you place a sheet and it changes color! Now we have a light blue bed! And I'm gonna add some more basic decorations like bookshelves and lots of stacks of books lying around. I also changed the texture of the barrels so they look like nether barrels. And they look really playful, I love it. And tons of those fancy paintings. And I also made a couple plushies, like an axolotl plushie and a parrot, and they're looking so cute. And now we ended up with this really cozy bedroom. I'm so obsessed with all these little modded blocks that are actually just normal blocks, but a different texture. So now that this floor is also done, we can go ahead and sort the storage down here. Yay. 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 But I was thinking now that I'm emptying my starter house out of all the storage, we could use this place for something else. So while I'm moving my storage around, I'm going to think about how to turn this starter house into a cozy beach home without any more chest monsters. And two hours later, my storage is completely sorted. Sort of. It's still a bit messy. But I've also gone ahead and decorated this place and now we have a lovely dining area. And I found out you can put books and stuff into these cupboards and they look so good. Then back here we have a little food storage and up here, my TV room with more cozy cupboards and those really cool lanterns. This is gonna be my cozy chilling area because we need that kind of time on our islands. We are on vacation after all. Stranded and forced to be on vacation, but still. But now that I redecorated my starter house and made my new storage house, it is time to go back to the villagers because they also need a home. So we started gathering some resources like the blue Skyros wood and figured out what block palette we wanted to use, which turned out to be a lot of different wood types. I brought some building blocks from my base and came back to Red and Drift being AFK, so I boxed them in glass boxes so zombies wouldn't get them. Drift made the layout of the build, which looked really nice, so we started working on the foundation blocks made of retextured granite, which was surprisingly really nice looking. Then the rest of the house will be made out of blue Skyros wood pillars and I suggested using the same textured birch planks I used for my storage house and they also looked really good on this one. 
I just found really cool vines. <gasps> Pretty. And then Red and Drift already worked on the second floor while I was standing around AFK because my actual basement was underwater, which was kind of not fun. But when I came back, I went straight into prank mode. Red, mm. Red, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Oh. Yep, I'm evil. Let's keep building. But then we put the roof on this build, which drifted really well, while Red was already starting on the interior, and I was detailing the walls, which is one of my favorite things to do when I build. I was just finishing off a path by placing some flowers, and suddenly we were done with the build. It looks so yeah. cozy. I love it's it. So cozy. It's I love so it. It's so colorful. It's like overgrown. And the best part: there's mending and unbreaking books in there. Oh my gosh! <gasps> I want to see the inside. Yeah, let's take yeah. a look. Let's take a look. Yeah. Have some Ooh. nice decoration and our shop. The flooring is made of dirt. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. You'd never know. Me... You can yep. kind of smell mm -hmm. it, but yep. you know what? The texture Ooh, yeah. is so worth it. And we've got all of our little villagers up here. They've got their little plushies. Yeah, I gave yeah. them a panda yeah. plushie. Oh, so oh, gosh, so they the got wolf. entertainment. <laughs> this is this is humane, right? Yeah, this is yeah, humane. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're not yeah, human, so it, it like it doesn't matter if it's humane because they're not humans. We're the humans. They're the villagers, you know. So yep, here these for these are our kens. <laughs> yeah, our naked kens. The and, beach kens. Yeah, and the normal normal ken who's like dressed yep there's one last thing we need then i'm, I'm so curious all the oh my gosh anticipation the cliffhanger what is going to be made oh my god and now the oh. episode is over just kidding oh, oh. Where is it? come on oh. all right let's let's go back up let's go back up oh, oh. oh. come on th th there's good decorations but they're missing one key important thing you know oh yes i am ken up you know what this yeah. means this house has to be called our mojo dojo casa house oh yeah yes oh. welcome to the mojo dojo casa house is it dojo oh, yeah. or do doja dojo i think it's dojo yes it i is. think yeah. so i love it it's perfect Me too. i love it it's a good blend of all of us now i'm gonna get so some mending books Yay. yeah guys you know i think we get true reward now we get the mending and the unbreaking yes. books put it on yes. our stuff yeah. After uh, building, I don't know about you, but my tools have uh, seen better days. I, I got mm -hmm. you all something for like completing oh. this. You have to wear it right oh. now. Wait, what a villager this? nose? Put it on, put it on. Wait. No! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I am Knuff. <laughs> we are Knuff. <laughs> yeah, for Let's real. see what the Kens think. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hi. Hello. Arr. Oh, they're scared. Arr. Look, at, he's judging. He's judging. The librarian is judging. Yeah, he's staring like, me down. Yeah, what the heck, man? Oh, I thought we were buddies. Oh, I thought we were cool. Oh, oh, what look, the? Uh, yeah. Come on. Look at him coming up to us like, oh, oh, yeah, he hates it. He hates it. He's I feel like, completely nope. judged. I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah me too. You know, well, I think cool. after this, I'm, I'm going to, you know, take a nap. You know, it's a lot of building. Same. And uh, it, was, it was a good time. Yep, I'm going to go to my base and hide. <laughs> hey, bye, homies. <laughs> bye. Bye. See you later. bye. Bye. You smell. No, you smell. No, you smell. You smell the most. You smell the smell mostest. Who are you talking to? You smell the mostest. You smell, you smell the, the mostest. Grossest. You smell the most testest. Okay. And now we can put mending and unbreaking on all our tools and hopefully get even more enchants and lanterns and glass from all the villagers. I feel really organized with my storage house and now we even sorted out our tool situation with all the mending books. And it was so fun to hang out with the girls today and build this beautiful villager house. And now that I have my organized storage, I finally feel like this island life could work out for me. Wait, what is that in my storage? My house is full of creepy eye guys. I am watching you because you love animals. Frog crafting. I swear this is revenge for the dolphins I put in her house. This is gonna take ages to get rid of. Oh my god. They're even in the ceiling. I also just noticed someone stole my campfire. How dare they. Frog crafting. And someone has made me a mailbox where the sandcastle was that the zombie villager trampled. I'm still sad about that. Museum now open? What the heck is going on? I think I was sleeping too long and missed a lot of stuff going on on these islands. Museum now open at Sparkles Island? Donations welcome? So we gotta bring one item that represents our island. What represents my island? Weird unhinged creepy stuff? Or some cozy cottage core? Okay, the RGB Easter Island head is kind of funny. Because there's a lot of party and colors going on on my island, especially those pineapples. And those birds are having a party up there too. I don't even know what they want from me. I'm really scared of them. I'm gonna run away fast. 
Is this the museum? Oh my gosh, let's check it out. This looks so cool. Wait, it has a glass roof. I love this. Let's see if this is the museum. And people already donated. We have the Skyrus tree from Red. And a cute little pumpkin from Brooke. What is that? Is that like food and a pumpkin? Frog's bamboo and a... I knew it. I knew it was frog. That is proof that frog put the heads in my base. Then I'll put this one in here. Oh my gosh, it looks so weird with the nose holes. And it's done. I just brought party to a museum. But that little pumpkin filled with food on Brooke's museum spot kind of reminded me I never got to try out the food mod. There's a mod to make all sorts of different kinds of meals and cute stuff and there's a creepy enderman. And I just found a solution for the guardian heads. Water time. Bye guardians. No, my carpet. Okay, I got rid of all the guardians. Now let's cook. I think the food mod is called Farmer's Delight and we need a stove. I can make that. I guess I'll have to steal one of my own campfires now. And now we can make the stove. Let's just put it down here for now. I really want to do a build for this later, but I'm not really sure what to do yet. So first let's try out the cooking. Ow! It burns me. Wait, what do you do with this? I can't click on it or anything. Great, now I'm bad at cooking in real life and Minecraft. Oh, you need a pan and a pot. Yeah, we can make those. I'll just have to get some more iron for that. And now we can craft a skillet and a cooking pot. And now we can put the pot on the stove. Dinner served. Not yet though. Oh, and when we click on it, we can put stuff in it. I have all the meals listed here so we can cook something nice. Oh my gosh, let's do some pasta with meatballs. We just need all these materials that I don't know how to make. This is gonna be easy. Okay, you get the raw pasta by doing this. Yay, we have it. And then we need to throw some tomatoes in the pot and it doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, it does. And we get tomato sauce. Perfect. Wait, hello? I can't get it out. Give me my tomato sauce. Give me. Oh, you need a bowl. Cooking is so complicated. I got it. And now the best part, we get to use a knife. I have a knife. Let's put the meat on here and use the knife. Yay. And we cut it up to minced beef. And now we throw all of this in a pot. Let's put the bowl here. Give me food. Give me food. Give me food. We got pasta with meatballs. Let's see if my cooking is any good, but I'm not hungry. Ha ha. That should get me hungry, right? We do need a good place to eat though, not just in the middle of the street. I still have this spruce bench lying around, so we can place it right over here. And now we eat the spaghetti. Mmm, food. Now that I've cooked one meal and it didn't taste bad, I think I'm a master chef, so I need to build something representing that where I can serve my food. But I have no idea what to do. So I'll just go on a little swim and see what I can come up with and not drown on the way. Whoa! Whoa! Drift! Whoa! Drift. I didn't see you there! What is yeah. this? Look what we got, Sev! Oh my Look what we gosh! Got. Is... Check this out, reverse. Beep! Beep! Forward, oh look, look at me zoom. Oh my gosh! Can I sit in it? Of course, you want me to take you for a little ride? Yes. Oh my gosh, we're in a boat. We're in a boat! Look at this. Isn't this so much better than swimming and walking? You know, like, I was getting kind of tired of swimming everywhere. Oh, so am I. This is perfect. This is like smooth sailing everywhere. We don't have to get our feet wet. We only have one, though, Sev. There's only one. None of us can still craft it because somebody um, who was meant to find... I don't know what she was going on about, though. She was saying something about how she was looking for a treasure island or something, but... She left us with this boat, so oh we can all use it. We only have one, so we have to take good care of it. I can't wait to take this boat for a ride. Wait, so, but I, like, I can, like, take this boat and run away from the islands and leave you all behind, right? <laughs> no, you have to come back. Aww. You have to come back eventually. You can't, you can't just leave, take the boat and leave us here. I'm not gonna steal the boat, like, right now. I'm not. You better not. I'm not. There's always eyes watching you somewhere. Yep, this chicken is onto me. I'm scared. I can't believe that we actually have a way off the islands. And before it is my turn to go out there into the wild unknown, I'm probably gonna die there. We need to celebrate that we found a way off the islands. And what better way to celebrate than with a nice home cooked meal. So now I have the perfect plan for my cooking build, a party boat restaurant. I think we can just put it over here in the water next to our shipwreck. I want to use a lot of bright colors, so maybe I need to look for some calcite. Unless I have some in my chest. Yay, I do. But I do have to gather some diorite in the deep, dark, scary caves. And this is Skelly with a weird hat. What is going on? Die, Skelly. Ooh, hat bag. Minecraft telling me once again that I'm a horse face. Now let's change the texture of all the calcite and diorite using the mason workbench. 
and now we have all these different kinds of nice calcite textures that will look really good on the build. Speaking of the build, this is gonna be really hard. I've never made a really big boat before and I want this to be a special kind of party boat. Great, and now it started raining. Now let's go and scaffold out using dirt in the pouring rain because Minecraft is mean until we reach the point where we wanna put the ship. Okay, maybe like this and then the boat starts over there. But because it rains, I'm gonna gather some spruce wood for the nice floor of the boat. I do love some nice spruce wood. And what in the world happened to my palm trees? They grew really weirdly into each other and don't have anything at the top. They have to go. Sorry, palm trees. And now that the rain is gone, we can finally start building. So first I started laying out the floor of the boat with the spruce wood on one side and on the smaller end side where the kitchen is gonna be, some nice checkerboard tiles. Then I started building the walls of the boat using the different kind of calcite textures that I crafted up earlier. And then it started getting difficult because I wanted this boat to be an organic swan boat. So I went upwards creating a nice swan head and a little tail. Take a look at that big beautiful swan. Some people might say it looks like a goose. So now we just gotta decorate this goose swan boat. We don't have any windows in place yet and we only have this first floor down here. But up here is supposed to be the party floor. I'm literally so excited about this. This is gonna be the ultimate party boat. I can feel it. And of course a cozy kitchen and restaurant. I need to get some beach vibes in so let's use tons of those palm logs. They look really pretty. And I also want to use those dried weed slabs again. They looked really tropical party vibes on my starter house. So what do we bring them over to over here? Let's just go ahead and farm some more. And oh my god there are birds here too. What do you guys want? There's so many on my roof and there's so many over here. And then I'll just spread out the weed to dry on this beach. And while all that weed dries in the rain. I can go ahead and start decorating the swan boat or goose boat. So first let's go around this thing with a couple upside down stairs and trap doors and also add an extra border of those palm blocks and now we can get the nice spruce floor in. It's gonna be a nice ceiling for this floor over here and a beautiful floor for the party room upstairs. And right above where the kitchen is supposed to go I want to put another kind of kitchen. You'll see what it is soon. So I'm gonna do another lovely checkerboard floor. Yes this is beautiful. Oh no. No, there's spiders in my room and there are creepers. Wait, somebody is online. Oh, it's frog crafting. I mean, now that she's here, this calls for revenge. Why did I zoom so much in on my face? Hi there. She left all of those creepy guardian heads in my base. So now I'm just gonna be annoying and stalk her while wearing a guardian head with cute kitty cat headphones. We love frog, but we also love to prank frog. I just gotta sneak around her house until I see her. Oh, she's right in there. But I quickly got bored sneaking, so I decided to confront her and be really weird and irritating. You look weird. It's me, a fish. You are watching me? Yes, I have one eye and I see you with my eye. Did you get the Razer kitty girl headphone? They're like the latest trend and I got it like straight away. Limited edition, of course. Don't look at the back of my house. I didn't. Ah, so this don't. is the back. Ah, interesting. No, don't look at the back. I have this mushroom that I stole from the hat shop. Oh, that was you. I wonder who stole it. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> I mean, it really it kind of fits the vibe. Yeah, it looks very much like like mushroom feet and fungus. That was me trying to compliment you. <laughs> you think it's a compliment to say that I am like feet. Yes. <laughs> and then I decided to confront her. L look at this one-eyed fish creature. Look familiar? It was all over oh, my well, house. All well, over it. Uh -huh. You know what you did to me with one of my worst fears, by the way. Look, I know that this was you because you love animals so much. Aw, that's a cute floating dolphin. They are horrible You and creatures. dolphins probably have a lot in I'm common, I'm not horrible. Actually. You know, I, I, I came mean, here to offer you a free subscription to Glare Magazine Plus and dolphin <laughs> coaching. And then I got even more annoying and things escalated and Frog had a sword out. So I ran away and tried to hide in the Guardian farm with my brothers, the Guardians, which was a terrible idea. I don't want to die. I'm going to die. This is the end. Why do I have this ugly hat? I think I kind of pranked myself more than I got revenge at Frog. But at least while I was burning myself in Frog's farm, all of this weed has dried. So now we can turn it into slabs and then make a beautiful roof on this swan boat.
And now that the main structure is done, the decorating can begin. First up, we definitely need a lot of colors. I'm gonna need a lot of wool. And there are these really cool model lanterns that look really colorful. One problem, some of them are soul lanterns, so I need soul sand from the nether. And the other ones require a lot of iron, which I don't have. I can't chicken out of going to the nether, but I might not have to go iron mining, because I know Red had a plan to make an iron farm, and this build has popped up with a suspicious looking iron golem head. So what if we go inside and see if the shop is open? Ooh, there's some iron here. And there are anvils, I'm gonna need anvils. Oh, there are heads. Oh, and there are chains. I love this so much. Okay, I think I'm gonna take half a stack of iron and leave some spruce. We have iron. And now we just need to go to the nether. Oh, I don't wanna go to the nether. I guess I better get ready for the nether with a nice home-cooked meal. What do we have in our chests? Oh, some nice rotten tomatoes. I'm kidding, let's make something nice. Do we wanna make a hamburger? Let's do it. I love using the knife on the cutting board. And now we cook the meat. And now we just put all the ingredients together and we get four hamburgers. Oh, look at those nice burgers. I'm so hungry. I'm so gonna order McDonald's once I'm back from the nether. Red doesn't just give us iron, she also gives us a cute potion shop with creepy blazers on the wall. Let's put the whole stack of wool in here. And let's see, oh, a potion of strength and water breathing, fire resistance. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put another burger in here as well. I'm gonna survive on two burgers, right? Let's go to the nether. Ah, uh, I'm very scared. I'm very scared. I hate the nether. I don't want to be here. Okay, I literally see soul sand, but a weird green version from up here from the portal. Ooh, lava. I mean, if I swim in the lava, I could easily get there, right? I guess we kind of do have to swim in the lava. Let's drink the potion and now we go in. Lava bath! Oh yeah, I'm in lava. I'm not dead. Wait, I can't see anything. Hello there. Is it soul sand? Please let it be soul sand. Ah, let me out of the lava. Warped soul sand. I don't think you can use it to turn it into soul lanterns. Uh-oh. There's a field full of soul sand and you can't use any of it. So we have to look elsewhere, I guess. So I went on a journey to look for a normal soul sand valley, which involved more jumping into the lava. Okay, if I die, I'm gonna scream really loud. Ah, lava, 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 lava. Oh my god, I survived. All right, here we have another beautiful, disgusting green soul sand valley, but look what I see in the distance. It's the normal stuff. It's everywhere. I need it, I want it, and it's mine. It's all gonna be mine. Oh no! No, not the skellies. We don't like the skellies. Now we just go in and we farm the stuff. It's the normal one, right? It's soul sand. It's just the normal soul sand. I'm so happy. I need to farm so much so I can bring some back for the girls. All right, I hollowed out this entire place and I got my whole inventory full of soul sand. Now we just need to get back home without dying in lava. Or to skellies. Ha, <laughs> got him. So now what was the way back home? Hmm. I hate the nether. And I'm gonna give a stack of soul soil to red as payment for the nice potions. Literally couldn't have done it without them. And now we can craft those beautiful soul torches. And then using the iron, we can turn those into soul lanterns. And I'm gonna have so much fun at the tinkering table and turn them all into these cute paper lanterns. Okay, now check this out. When you hang them, they look like this. It's so pretty. And then we're gonna have all the different colors all along this line here. Okay, look at how pretty this is. All of the lanterns all the way around. And now I just gotta put the banners right in front of the lanterns, like on here on this fence post. It's looking really colorful from the inside and even more colorful on the outside. Look at these bright colors. This is so good. This screams party boat. I'm also gonna go ahead and make a nice staircase leading up there so we no longer have to use the scaffolding. Now we can have a little wall here separating this staircase from the windows otherwise there would be an ugly gap and then we might as well continue this wall and make a wall through the kitchen so we don't see the kitchen when we're dining here it's a sacred space where magic's gonna happen and what creepers are gonna spawn if i don't light this up soon and i put up the other lanterns and now we have the dining room let's make a million chairs and tables i love doing this and now we make chairs and tables and now we can have two chairs here and then a lovely big table 
And I'm gonna do this on every single side. I just gotta from some azalea leaves for the final touches of the dining room. And now we can have some nice bushes here and some over there for the stage I made. Yes, I made a stage. This is gonna be the mic. And it's gonna have this fancy painting on the wall. And now people can do some weird presentations and singing here. And another painting on the wall. And now the dining room is done. Now on to the kitchen. So first up, we need a big cooking island. Wait, is it called island? Like we live on an island and we cook on an island? I'm confused, this is weird. I also put a shelf down with all the plates and cups so we can prepare the food here. Also cutting board so we can cut the food here. And this is like guacamole or something in a jar. It's not gross, I swear. And then we have all these storage spaces back here and over there. And I'm thinking I might pay a visit to Brooke's grocery store and stock up on some vegetables. And now we can take this boat and row it over to the grocery shop. I love this boat. This is so smooth. Oh, I sail into the one block. Shopping time. Hello there, Nason. He's creepy. Mine, 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 mine. I also want some onions and some carrots. And now we can craft all these nice crates. And then we can put all the crates here in the storage spaces. And now some rice in this corner. And now the storage area is done. And I want to craft another cool thing. A mini fridge. Let's put it here. Because every kitchen needs a fridge, right? Ooh, we can open it and put stuff in there. What can we make in this? Okay, there are tons of recipes for ice cream. I love that. But we need ice and snow. But we don't have ice and snow. Now I know where we're going to go in our first boat adventure. And now this this beautiful kitchen is done and I also added a weird area in this dining hall with a fish you know to get people hungry I mean if my guests were cats this would be perfect and now before we decorate this party deck over here I want to do some cooking because now I have the perfect kitchen now we can try out all the cool recipes oh my gosh we can make sushi I'm gonna make sushi I'm so excited I'm gonna make sushi now let's do the big kelp roll and now we can cut it and we have tiny sushi rolls. Now all the sushi rolls together can do a rice roll medley. It's a big thing. <gasps> we can place it. We can place it down. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to put it on the table. <gasps> sushi table three hours of cooking and screaming later i have made a pie but that's enough cooking for today i think let's go upstairs and build this party area i want this to be full of beach vibes so i craft up all the chairs and tables from the beach party mod and i even saw you can make a radio but it needs this weird disc so first i was really sad that i couldn't make it but then i realized i actually have the disc right here from when i went to a zombie spawner and a creeper exploded the zombie spawner so we can actually go ahead and make the radio I think the radio can also play music, but it's probably copyrighted, so I'm not gonna play it. I'm sorry, music enjoyers. It did indeed play copyrighted music, but you can be sure I had a good time vibing to this. Under this roof, I want to have the coziest beach bar. I mean, it's not really on the beach, it's on a boat, so it's a boat bar. And kind of also tiki bar because I'm making it out of tiki bar blocks. Those are really tiki bar blocks. And in here we're gonna have a coffee machine and some mugs. Then of course the mini fridge again and the radio. Okay, now the beach boat tiki bar is done and a dining area right next to it. And now we have this half left for the music. I want to have like a big DJ set up right here. So let's put down some weird deep play blocks. They kind of look dj -y. I also went to kill some of Drift's cows for item frames. But then I noticed there's some new stuff on this island. There's an ice cream shop. I was supposed to build the DJ stage, but now I'm just sitting here with my ice cream. It's such a beautiful day, isn't it? Okay, distraction is over. Let's build up the big music boxes. I'm doing it all wrong already. One over here and then a smaller one here and the same on the other side. Then item frames all over them. And then some glass inside of the item frames. Trust me, it's gonna look really fun and colorful. And then we can have all like the technical music sound setup stuff here. So I'm gonna use redstone because I don't understand music stuff or redstone stuff. So it's perfect. And then the DJ can sit here and play the music and turn the lights on and off. Isn't that fun? And also spin the disc and interact with all of these. This party is gonna be so swag. And I also added the funkiest decorations like these weird axolotl rubber rings over here. And then the funkiest dancing area with little seats so we can sit on these cushions and enjoy the music. And up there I want to put some party related hats so let's go to the zombie farm and kill some zombies. Aw, who put this at my door? And somebody baked me a cake! Cute. 
die zombies and head back time i am a painting thing i'm scared okay now check these weird party tiki hats out i mean i just had to use them since i donated one to the museum so it represents my island now i think the boat needs some final finishing touches using some lattices and leaves and i definitely need to make an entrance i keep using this dirt road and going up the scaffolding instead of going in here and taking the stairs so let's first put some pretty leaves on the walls now this is looking beautiful right I was thinking to have a nice wooden dock here and then we can go and jump on the lily pads to reach the party boat. This turned from a tiny dock into a really big area with a walkway and everything. And now I'm making a big path connecting to my house and my other path. This was gonna be a small project. But now next to the usual path that goes up to my storage house we also have one going to the right. Which I've decorated with these lovely autumn leaves and then we take a turn and we can already see the party boat and here's the dock with a random block that I just dropped. And this dock path kind of thing wraps all the way around this island and I even made a little chair and table if you want to rest on your journey and then following this path it leads to another path which doesn't lead anywhere but then over here is the entrance to the party boat so we can hop from lily pad to lily pad if I can make it and then we can reach the boat and upstairs is where the party is gonna happen and for that I've hired a very special DJ wait how did it write itself already I didn't even write that that thing just showed up I was gonna write that but it just showed up is it gonna go away again Huh, it's there again! I'm scared! Yeah, so anyways, DJ Swaggy Drift is gonna play here tonight. So I'm gonna invite some of the girls to listen to the DJ and party with me. So I'm just gonna prepare some meals so we can all eat together. And then it is party time. Oh, hi oh, guys. Oh, there's the host now. Hello. Are you ready to hi. party? Yes. So ready. Is this able to leave these islands or is nah, this just for fun? It's it's stranded just like we are. I mean, not really oh, okay. because we now have a boat, which is why we're celebrating that we have a boat on the boat give us your <laughs> give us your best karaoke and i was like baby 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 oh don't mind at night no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> later we could eat some food but now let's go upstairs because i have a special surprise Ooh. we have a very special guest here today Whoa. look at this Ooh. yeah look at this beautiful so cool. stage yeah dj swaggy drift put coming. your hands <gasps> up <gasps> In the Ooh. air. Ooh. Let's go. Ow. Do you all love Justin Bieber? <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Ooh. One time. Baby, hey. baby, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, that's <laughs> This crowd be wild tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. I want to see you. We're going to go for a drop. I want to see you all crouch. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, Ooh. yeah. Put your hands in the air. Ready? Three. Two, one, Woo! put them up, party! Thank you so much, everybody. I will be here another night, maybe, because this is really fun and really soothed my soul. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hey, guys. Hi, Drift. Um, you guys broke Good my job. leggings, by the way, just now. <laughs> I definitely heard something no. break. It's so <laughs> Somebody may have pooped their pants. <laughs> Then I served the girls some drinks that I made at the tiki bar, but of course those drinks came with a twist. Oh yeah, I forgot. Rocket Here are some rotten tomatoes! <laughs> no! Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What on earth? And then we went downstairs to eat my lovely home-cooked food and do some more cringe karaoke. Sushi! Ooh, sushi. I made food. But then Drift's cat tried to ruin this beautiful dinner time. <laughs> Who broke my carpet? My carpet! Wait, <laughs> Who broke my carpet? <laughs> what does me mean? My Wait, cat is, what is happening? My cat's on the keyboard helping. Wait, you can't <laughs> break my carpet? <laughs> Drift is again just destroying everything. Oh, How could you drown? What did you do? I'm gonna Sushi? grab some kelp roll. Mm. Oh, I, I got a plate a of shepherd's pie. Oh, you can take a plate? Ooh, oh, it gave me nourishment for five minutes. Okay, who's singing next on the karaoke? <clears throat> I'll pull some of my favorite quotes Ooh, uh, from Twilight. <clears throat> I decided as long as I'm going to hell, I might as well do it thoroughly. About three things I was absolutely positive. First, Edward was a vampire. Second, there was a part of him. And I didn't know how potent that part might be. 
that thirsted for my blood. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. That That's the back. Thirst for blood. That was the back of the Twilight book. <laughs> Did you it's just, just a really yes, good book. It's in no, the book. It was the back. Okay, maybe read? I only read the back of the book so far, okay? I've been busy doing other stuff. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. Going off about something that you said. Okay, there we go. She doesn't Woo, get your story. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Frog smell. That was so good. Hey, Drift, want to yep. sing a duet of the Gilmore Girls intro song? Yep. No. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If you're Her out on the road, feeling, feeling lonely, <laughs> and, and so, so cold, <laughs> all you have to do is call, call my, my name and I'll be there. You keep singing. On the <laughs> next train. What, what's the Gilmore Girls? Oh my god. You've oh. never watched the Gilmore Girls? No. Oh, frog! Do you live on an island or something? Yeah, like literally, <laughs> have you just <laughs> inhabited this island all along? And on that cringy note, the party was over, but you can be sure that literally every single one of the guests stuffed their pockets with my food to take it home to eat later. But this was the most fun I've ever had on these islands, and we partied until late into the night, and now we can really say that island life isn't so bad after all. Now that we're done partying, I think it is time for the next chapter in our island life here, which will also involve leaving the islands for the first time ever since we stranded here. Going on a boat adventure off the islands would mean I get to bring back so many new resources and plants and blocks that I can build with and decorate my home with. And because the boat has two seats, I invited one of the other girls to come with me on that adventure. But there is still some time until we meet up, so in the meantime, I like to make a start on decorating the island. There's this huge chunk of land here behind my storage house, and I've always used this to gather resources like chopping down spruce trees and those palm trees. But I think I should turn this into a giant island park, which means I need to get rid of those creeper holes that I left everywhere, chop down all those palm trees, and get rid of whatever this is attached to my house. Nobody look at the back of my building, it's messy. Oh, I forgot this thing was here. The snake. Very scary snake. NSFD, not suitable for drift. Drift is scared of snakes and so am I. It's so creepy, but at the same time it's kinda cute. But also creepy how it slides up those blocks. Maybe we shouldn't abandon this poor snake in the wild. Maybe we should give it a name and build it a lovely enclosure in our park. After we made the park, which I'm avoiding by running away with the snake, all right, you'll be safe here. Now let's grab some sand and dirt. And then let's terraform this messy area. The first thing I had to do was of course chop down all the palm trees that were scattered around the area. Then I tried to change up the landscape a bit so it would be easier for me to plan out the park later. I covered up some holes and removed some bigger chunks of land and tried to make sense of the messy mix of dirt and sand patches on the island. Then I already got into the planning phase and worked on the paths that will go all over this area and ended up with something looking like this. And lastly I worked on this little hill which was a huge mess. It wasn't only half sand, half grass, but it also had a giant cave with falling sand underneath which had to be covered up. But once all of that was done, the island looked very different than before. I think this guy's really angry that I tore out all the trees and flattened that beach. I'm sorry. I want to build a cute park. You can walk there. I mean, now you can't because you're kind of dead. Whoa, drowned. I swear I had a permit. I think this guy's really upset too. Don't look at me like that. But now that this area is nice and flat and free of trees, we gotta work on a path. And I want that road to be made of the same blocks that I used here for this street. But since those stone blocks in my inventory are the only ones I have left in my storage, I need to go down here to the secret hidden mine. And then I'm gonna destroy all the walls and get all the stone I need for this road. Wait, I need cobblestone and this is a silk touch pickaxe. No! But I did get four stacks of andesite so we could just convert that into different textures. And I think we can use all those textures to make the path look really nice so we won't need cobblestone after all. That creepy snake is watching me. Lovely, I'm not scared at all. This parrot knew I was gonna build here and it just had to sit down in the exact same place I wanted to build. For now it still looks ugly and gray but I finished the entire path going all the way to the beach here and over there where I maybe want to put a little bridge later. But to connect this to the beach a bit more I have an idea. Maybe we'll take out a couple of these blocks and then replace it with the rocky dirt so it's like a bit of dirt and gravel mixed in here. And then we definitely have to also get some coarse dirt into the mix. 
We can also line up the paths with those spruce palisades here and there, and then maybe some of the rope. This looks really nice. I got that idea from Red, and I've put it all over my islands ever since I saw it. It looks really cool. It's like the perfect beach vibes. Let's get some different colored leaves, like the orange ones and the golden ones. It's always summer here, but I really love the vibes of those leaves. Of course, this place also needs the lighting up, so I'm gonna place some lanterns here and there for now. Now, this is a beautiful path. This is gonna be a perfect little beach park. But now, before I get more into decorating this beautiful place, we need to prepare for the boat ride. And I noticed my armor is about to break and my sword is about to break and it has really bad enchants. So let's go enchant some stuff. Ow! And we can buy the mending books here. Now, do I have to pay for mending books that are in a shop that I helped build together with Red and Drift? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pay something. I did bring some nice wool. Oh, that's the save. That's not the donation bin. That's the donation bin. Okay, let's put some lovely wool in there. And because I only have 16 XP levels, because I probably died somewhere again, I'm gonna go back into our lovely hat shop down to the scary XP farm and murder some zombies. And I'm gonna try to already put mending on my sword so it doesn't break. It's slaying time. Aw, the zombies have pumpkin heads. Cute. Die now. My sword is repaired and so is some of my armor. So let's get going. I think it's time for a boat adventure. And yes, there is a knife stuck in my head. Don't judge me, I've been murdered. Anyways, let's meet up with Amber. Uh, I invited you to go on a boat adventure with me off the islands. Yay! Yes, yes, yay. That sounds really fun. We're doing and it. dangerous. There's no Wait. danger involved at all. Okay. Definitely. I mean, I'm in for a little trip, so. <laughs> okay. Yep. Get in. Let's go. Okay. How far are we going? I have no idea. We're just gonna go in one oh. direction. <laughs> Wait, there's oh my God, a bridge one direction. Here. Oh. Uh, there's no way. Who built these bridges? <laughs> They're pretty, though. They are very pretty. Oh my gosh, we're leaving the islands for like the first time ever. And after sailing for a while, we saw the first land inside. There's land. Okay, I want to touch the, the first land we saw after the islands. Wait, ugh! Ooh. Up there. What? There's a lighthouse. Flowers, I'm taking flowers. pretty. I I'm love taking them. them. There's a snake! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that snake. I have that on my island too. It's like harmless unless you touch it. If you oh, touch is that it... one that you fenced in? Yep. Ew, this one is thick. Like it ate something. Mine doesn't have that thick part. Well, this one probably ate a chicken. No! Ew! Oh, this is so gross. I'm leaving. Wait, the lights. Somebody is like showing <gasps> us light signals. What? Oh! Ooh the lighthouse. But we quickly realized the structure had nothing to offer other than a scary skeleton. Uh, I think they're on top of it. Did we break? That's dangerous. Uh, let's leave. Oh, there, there. Ah! Why did I break this? Run for your life. I killed one. Scaly. Got Good it. Good job. Then we decided this land was boring and wanted to leave. And it definitely wasn't because we were chased by a gang of pillagers from a nearby outpost. This Bye, sucks. Bye, losers. Look at those cool... What's oh that? Oh my gosh. Let's keep going into the scary unknown. Do you see it? Oh! <laughs> Whoa. I'm just gonna, like... Good uh, job. Got oh. Bye, losers. Y'all smell really bad. Oh, look at the skellies peeking up from the railing. <laughs> look at that. That's so cute. They're just looking. They're, they're just, just having a little, you know. Yeah, they're just chilling around. It's, what is loading in here? Oh, no. What? It's another ship. Pillagers are. What? And they have weird bows and weird banners. Eewee. I don't think we should go there. I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, no. They're oh. so eewee. No, <laughs> they're all looking at us. Nope. Oh, they're seeing us. Oh, they're. Oh. Do they have red eyes? I don't want to know. Ew! And since the pillagers couldn't get off their ship, we raided the nearby Mesa village for them. Ooh, cactus. I need cactus. Do you guys have good stuff for us, maybe? Wait, is that... What is that? Flowering barrel cactus. I can't open it, though. Huh? That's weird. I'm taking it. Oh, this is ah, ah! ah! Um... There's a tiny cactus, good? and it kills me. I'm taking them. I can make a cactus garden on my island. There's literally a villager that died next to me because <laughs> of a cactus. 
Oops. He just died. Whoa, the golem is dying on the cactus too. Whoa, there are potions in item frames on the wall. Uncraftable potion. That's stupid. Oh, that's They sucks, give you though. nausea. I don't want them. Bye, village. Bye, creepy pirate ship. We're not coming Going back. Whoa. Oh. I need lily pads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, temple. Oh. Right. This is easy. It's like a normal easy, structure. Easy. Just just don't make it blow up. We just go down. Easy peasy. Very easy. Oh yeah, there are more saddles. This was lame. There's a different kind of snake. It's like a sand snake. Is it evil? Is it like? Ah! Ah! Did you punch it? Oh my god! No, I did. Ah! You punched it. I did. That's where I didn't touch it. Ah! Then it just attacked. Kill the snake. Kill the snake! I'm sorry, oh, snake. There's another one. Where? Okay, don't punch it and go up to it. See what it does. I will stay here so you know it's not me. Ah! Oh, you punched it! I didn't I punch it! I saw you punch it! I swear I didn't punch I anything! I saw you punch it! I swear, it. I swear, you... I swear. There's another oh, here, snake. I, I will die. You how, go up to the snake. How was it? It's just half a heart. It's fine. Oh. It's, it's, not, it's not scary. Ah! That's I many didn't... hearts. You need, you need to kill it for me. Well, now that it's settled that snakes are super evil and want to kill us, we can keep on traveling. Ooh, there's like a cobblestone thing. Wait, I'm taking the boat. We can just run across the desert. Maybe we can find something interesting. Yeah, it's fine. Oh! What is it? Uh oh. Oh, there's no spider. Ah! Cave spiders, run for your life! Oh, oh gross! God. Oh, God. oh, gross, gross, gross! Oh, oh. Ew! Snake. Ew! 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 Ew, cobweb entanglement. Are you kidding me? Gross, 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 gross. I hate it here. I'm not going back there. I hate this. I hate this. And after that spider experience, we kept on going until we found something really scary. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. There's like some half Do rendered in thing. What is that? Oh, Do you see that? If you look up to the um, left? Set your spot over here. Seen. That's probably evil. Oh wow, it gets bigger and bigger. There's cobwebs. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Where did it come from? What the heck? I don't know. Do we want Yummy. to go into the structure? What is it? It's a village. We can of go creepers. a little bit closer and look. Yep. But... Okay. Let's... And then we don't have to go in. Yeah, but we kind of should go in though. <laughs> I hate well... it here. Oh, what happened? I just came from. I just came from Vegas. Oh, pillagers. Where? Uh. Ooh. What oh, happens in Las you. Vegas stays in Vegas, I guess. Whoa. Oh my god, they shoot you with fireworks. I mean, they're in it's Vegas, so like we're in Vegas. Oh, the fireworks! Okay. They yeah, went off good. with a bang. Oh, there's a spawner in there. Okay, that's where they come from. This is too dangerous. Why are we doing this? I <laughs> can't see anything. Oh, what's that? Behind you! I need to eat. Bro, yeah. I can't even do this with this armor. Wait, this is Why like... Am I so... Whoa, there are the spawners. I, I removed the spawner. Wait. Whoa, oh wait, that's not you, that's a monster! Ah! Run for your life, they're so strong. Run, run, run. And after we slept the night away and screamed a lot and murdered some monsters, we decided to get back into the scary structure, but this time from a higher point, so we have the high ground over those creepy mobs. Loot chest. Let's see if this loot here oh. is any good. Ooh, I just need come here, there's, ton of, there's to tons wear. of iron. Yeah, there's hardly well, nothing to I'll wear. Iron. It's so dark, why did we not bring torches? Wait, there's there's a torch it... here. Ooh, there's some bread and ender pearls and gold. Wait, I'm taking the gold. Good Welcome night, to the night, casino. Night. Time for some gambling okay. with what our lives. Them? Where are they coming from? I hate skeletons. I hate skeletons. I hate they skeletons. They drop from above. There, there are more up there. Do we go up there? Okay, do we run up and be like, we're not scared? Okay, let's go. Wow! <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Do you have a torch? Oh, there's so many skeletons. Oh, I'm, scared. Holy I'm scared. Come back. Come run, back. Come back. Come run. back. Come back. Ah! I wish I had a bow. I wish I had confidence. <laughs> I'm gonna go up there and break the spawner, and if I die, get all my stuff if I die. No. I broke oh, the spawner. I broke the spawner. Oh, there's a chest out here. Okay, I think the higher we go, the better the loot, right? Yeah. I'm assuming. And the stronger the monsters. I hate this game. I hate this game. Oh, yes. I hate this game. I broke the spawner. I'm almost dead already. I'm almost dead already. Run for I'm your not, life. Run, run, I'm run. Lying. Go down and eat. Go down no, and eat. Gonna... Yep. Ah. Oh, no. I'm almost dead. I need to. Yep, I'm going down and eat. Oh. No! Wait, you died! My first death! Oh no! Rest oh. in pieces! In little small tiny pieces. In little small tiny <laughs> I sad pieces. I needed a pillager of the edge. 
<laughs> oh, am I is he dead? Yeah. Or is he on the floor? No, I okay. ate him. I ate him. How did he die again? Did he just die yes. again? What the <laughs> I, heck? Just, I got nothing on me. So we ran up the stairs from floor to floor, trying to break as many monster spawners as we could before those evil creatures spawned at us and murdered us. Oh, there's like little okay, but chair. Why is there no loot? There are that four more diamonds. Take him. Oh my oh, god. Oh, I hear pillagers. Well, I guess we know what the next floor is gonna be. Ah, there's a pillager spawner! No. Where are you, pillager? I don't see you with the fireworks. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, pillager. Oh, this is scary. No loot. Ah! There's loot there. Let's go. Ah! Whoa! What is that? Run! Run for your life! Run! Run, Run for your life! They have two swords. Ah! No, no, close the door, close the door. Ah, ah, no, 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 what came out? I'm so what scared. the actual hell? What the heck was that? Do we like? What was that? Wait, there's one of them there. We can kill that one guy, right? We can try. Hi there. It's a skeleton, I think. Oh, it died. It's not undoable, I think. Okay. I think it's kind of doable. I killed it. Please give us your diamond armor. Look at this, look at this guy. <laughs> He has a face. He's a person. Oh, I know who they are. They're, they were like the, the ones in Las Vegas who were stuck during the lockdown with their masks. Where are the rest of those suckers? It's totally them. It's them. But my heart is like in my chest right now. I'm so scared. And then we tried to run to the very top of the tower while being chased by those creepy mask sword guys. We're up. We're at the I'm top. Up. Okay, now run in a circle and I kill them. Just block, block up, block. Ah! No! I blocked myself up. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna die again. There's like a skeleton here. No. Oh my gosh, there's diamond armor up here. Really? It, there is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and then we can just scaffold from rooftop to rooftop and just take yes! all that. Yes! We're so smart. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and then we did exactly that. We got our core stirred and started scaffolding from rooftop to rooftop so we could get all the nice double chests that were full of good loot like diamonds and some diamond armor for Amber because we still had iron armor. Okay, so we looted all the rooftops. So I guess we gotta get out of here. Okay, um, yeah, we can make this jump, right? We're not gonna die Is from that, this. Are you sure that's water and that's not, there's... Definitely water. It's water. It's water, okay. Are we jumping? Oh my God, I'm actually gonna get tickles. I'm so scared. Ready? Okay. Ready, let's go. Ah! Oh God. Uh, oh my gosh, it lagged. <laughs> That was so scary! We did it. And then of course before we went back home we had to stop by a pretty flower field and destroy it and take all the flowers with us. Where snake, 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 snake. Ah, it looked at me, it took its tongue out and made like the tongue Where did you go? thing at me. Bye, Let's scary go. outdoors Bye. and stuff. I'm sure we will never have to see this scary place again. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Except all the diamonds and gold we stole. Oh my gosh! Hello. We're here! The islands are here! Home. Island! We're home! We survived, we made it. It only took us a billion days. Have a good day! You too! With your stuff. With my stuff. I'm so rich now. Yes. And now we have all these beautiful flowers so we can decorate this park. I didn't expect to find all these cacti, so I have a plan to make a cactus garden right here. I just found out you can bone meal the aloe vera, whoa, and then it explodes and it grows back. That was very creepy. Now let's also maybe get some real cactus, ow, 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 in there, ow, ow, I'm stuck. That is a really prickly field I just made. And we can't forget about the cute tiny little baby cacti, they're so adorable. Then let's also get those weird barrel cacti into the mix. I still don't know what they do. They hurt, but they don't open even though they're called barrel. Maybe they're just a cactus called barrel. And I'll just get rid of the grass behind the cactus field so I have a lovely sand background. And then we'll just fill it in with nice sand. And now we have a beautiful cactus garden. It's just good for looking at it though. I would never step into it. It almost broke my pants. And while the cacti are looking nice and pretty, I'm gonna focus on the next thing in the garden, which is a flower bed right here. But of course flowers cannot grow on sand, so we need to make some flower beds. Okay, maybe we can have plots for the flowers like this, and then we can have the different kinds each on one of those weird dirt patches. Now let's make some nice looking trapdoors. And then we'll surround the flower beds with them. And there may be a nice pathway going through here. I think this granite could look really good if we mix in some dirt too so it looks a bit worn down. Wait, I just realized you can also change the texture of dirt. Okay, this texture is looking really nice. 
And now when we walk in... Ow! Bad cactus. And now when we walk in from the main path, we are greeted by all these beautiful flowers and this lovely path. And I named all the flowers I put a sign here with lovely flowery decorations. So it's basically like a cozy little flower museum. And then over here is the table and I want to put some flowers up here too. The ones that can be put in little pots. Gonna have a mix of some modded and some normal flowers. Like that creepy with the rose from the nether. I think now this is perfect. We got a beautiful flowery garden and a creepy cactus field. Now we have another place to decorate the beach area. And for that area, I'm gonna craft a lot of beach furniture. And I'm just gonna spread them out here by the beach. Then let's also add some beach towels. And then we can actually relax on the beach. I'm also gonna build a little sandcastle here. Oh, look how cute this is, the tiny sandcastle. And I think that means the beach area is sort of done. We have the chill relaxing area over here. We have a little tiki bar. You can swim up to it and then sit down and order drinks. And then we also have a tiny little relaxation area here. And I planted a ton of palm trees everywhere. I lied, I forgot to continue the path and make a dock. And there we go, it is done now and I even added some silly things on the dock like this pelican floaty and a little jumping board. Ugh, there's a drowned. And now that this entire part is decorated, we gotta decorate this giant hill. And I wanna make a cozy little gazebo on there. And for that I'm gonna use the prismarine blocks that Frog gave me. I started by laying out different kinds of prismarine blocks like making a round mosaic floor, which looked very magical. Then I made the support pillars of the gazebo using stone walls on top of barrels and then on top of that the spruce palisades which are a bit sturdier than the spruce fences. And lastly I worked on the roof which I wanted to be round so I started with a spruce trim and then of course I had to use prismarine again and make a round globe shape. The different prismarine textures from the chip mod made me really appreciate this block more. It can look really nice and maybe I should use it more in vanilla minecraft. I think this build could definitely use more lighting, so I brought my lanterns. And then of course we need a place to relax, so I made this bench out of iron. And it looks really nice, look at those details. And we can sit on it too, and I seem too small for this bench. I'm a little baby, I don't fit on this bench. And I wanted this gazebo to be more than just a chilling place. I also wanted it to be a little display area for some beach stuff. So I'm gonna put an empty sand bucket here for the beach vibes and a message in a bottle for the mysterious beach vibes. Those are just some funny modded items that describe my island really well. Oh, look at it, it's so pretty. Now I just need some flowers. So I removed some sand around the gazebo and I'm gonna replace it with dirt so we can plant stuff on it. Let's add some beautiful leaves everywhere. And then of course those cute pink tall alliums and the small ones. And I worked on a staircase which goes up here then goes around this turn and then here is the gazebo. I think it's perfect. And I think this gazebo is looking really cool too like a lovely ocean paradise on land. And now that we have a cozy gazebo and a lovely flower garden, cactus creepy place and beautiful flower beds and of course the cozy beach, we have one last thing to do that I said I would definitely do. It has to do with this guy over there. Oh, he's so creepy. I need to build a home for this scary snake. And after I've seen so many scary snakes on my boat adventure with Amber, I really hate them a lot. But even though this snake is really scary, I made a promise, so I'm gonna give it a lovely home. So gross! I already filled this island with builds, so maybe I should build the snake house over here on this island. We have the little mining house here, so we can build a house of the same size and it's gonna fit really nice. This place is really messy with I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna take it out. But this place is already really nice and flat, so maybe we can just build it here. Let's do it. And now the house is done, so we just need to move the scary snake over. And I made a staircase leading up to the house and also a path with lovely torches to light the way. And this is the finished house. Let's take a look at the lovely snake interior. We have a creepy scale flooring made of sandstone. And we have lovely decoration like this scary blaze thing which I think is scary. This panda plushie which I also think is kind of scary but also very cute. And this super cute rainbow cat thing. Then we have some books if the snake wants to read and a cozy bed and a bowl for some food and maybe if it can crawl up here it can eat from this table and snakes need a warm house so i made a big cozy fireplace with a lovely rug to sleep on and now i never want to see the snake again Ooh, i took its tongue out it's gross 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 it's gross i hate snakes 
I've been hard at work decorating my island, but I realize it is very empty. I have tons of builds and flowers and decoration, but there is no life, except me who tramples everything. So what I've been doing is I've been sneaking up on parrots and forest fed them seeds until they love me and then I picked them up and brought them over to the beach area. And there I made them sit on all the beach furniture like on this beach towel. I also put one in this giant beach chair which is really cute, then one here and one at the tiki bar serving drinks. So I'm slowly but surely turning this area into a beach resort that everyone can enjoy, even the pesky birds. And they've been really annoying harassing my poor house for weeks. Why am I nice to them again? But that got me thinking, what if other people ever get stranded here? They don't have a nice place to chill like those birds at the beach, cause everything will be full of bird poo by then. So why don't we make a beach hotel right there? And I'm thinking you and the girls could also have a nice slumber party there. Ow, 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 ow. But for my grand hotel plan to work, I need a lot of different things. First up, I have to go ahead and put some mending enchantments on my tools because this shovel is so gonna break. I'm also gonna put it on my axe and then I'm gonna go hit the XP farm. Die zombies. Alright, it's all repaired now, but being here in our head shop that me and Frog made reminded me I never looked into the donation box. I would take a little peek, but Frog is gonna murder me if I steal something. So I'm gonna run away and hopefully me and Frog can meet up later and fight over whatever is in there. Dips on the diamonds, dips on the diamonds! I said it first, they're mine. But now we gotta work on terraforming this land to be flat enough to fit a giant hotel on top of it. Which means it's bye bye to this wheat field. I'm sorry. Oh no, the water is spilling everywhere! And now that it's flat, I think I gotta expand this land a bit or at least make sure this cliff here doesn't look as ugly as it does now. But I ran into a little problem because I have to get rid of this entire wheat field and I wanted to turn all of those crops into those blocks and stairs and slabs that you can put on your house as a roof. I did that on my first building and it's looking really nice! So I want to do that for the hotel as well, for the ultimate beach vibes. So I'm kind of thinking of relocating that field. But I don't think it would fit on my park island either. But then I saw this abandoned island here that I never really noticed, even though it was there this whole time. This place is so pretty too, lots of lovely flowers and those beautiful apple trees. Now let's just pick those lovely flowers, maybe we can use them later. Then let's put some water here and start making the field and plant tons of seeds. So I went to work and created a giant crop field. Of course I ran out of seeds halfway through so I continued making the field until some of the crops had grown so I could harvest them and use the extra seeds to create more. And now we have a beautiful field underneath the apple trees. And now that our hay bale supply is sorted out, we can start working on the hotel. Which means this guy here has to leave the area. Please come with me. You can chill here for now with your friend. And there are these weird messy trees with really ugly brown leaves there. And I think they're in the way, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I am kind of curious what saplings those trees dropped. Oh yeah, they're modded. Brown oak sapling. Ooh, so it is actually brown. And brown birch sapling. Oh, the temptation to make a poop joke right now. I'm not gonna do it. But chopping those trees was really good because I need a ton of oak wood and of course some birch and spruce for the hotel. And probably the palm blocks as well. But of course I don't have enough of any of the wood types, so I need to farm more. Which is why I need tons of bone meal, which I don't have. But I guess it is about time I go back to Sparkles Island, because she made a skeleton farm a long time ago, and I never went and bought any bone meal. Why do I always go to her island when it's night? I'm scared. I think the bone meal is over there. I think she made a tiki bar, which is really cool. Oh, it's like a little on the water walkway. Cute. There's the bar. And the skelly shop is that way. And then we fall down the creepy dark drop shaft. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'm alive. Ooh. Wah! Oh, it's a glare. Hello. Cabbage. What a lovely name, cabbage. I love the glare. Okay, we're here for bones. Let's take a stack. Bye, cabbage. You're not at all creepy. Also, I just went on the island where I planted the crops and there are sand slabs. Why did nobody tell me this? You can literally easily craft them too. I could have used them this whole time. But it's never too late to use them, so I will put some here to make my beach look even cooler. Or warmer because it's the beach. And yes, the slabs are everywhere now. But I just realized I got very distracted, so we're gonna continue the sand slabbing later. For now, I need to get all this bone meal and plant all these trees and then harvest tons of wood. That's a big ugly tree. 
Who knew it was so hard to spot the oak logs among the brown trees? And after some more time of struggling with the modded trees, I finally got all the wood together. And of course I already crafted up all the blocks into those lovely textures. Ignore that I completely forgot to get spruce wood, I'm gonna do it right now and you saw nothing. Somehow Red found the normal big spruce trees and I really prefer them over the orange modded ones. So I hope she doesn't mind that I'm gonna secretly chop and replant them. I just realized I made my inventory look like a gradient. But now that we have all the wooden blocks, we can start building the beach hotel. I'm so excited. I want this hotel to sit on a giant porch, so let's start by making that out of those beautiful spruce planks. I'm just gonna make a big square on which I'm gonna place the hotel itself. But I'm not gonna fill up the middle of the square because I'm not sure yet what floors I wanna have in the hotel itself. And now we can start building the hotel walls, which I'm starting off with these, whatever they're called, railed oak planks, which will be the nice and sturdy foundation of this build. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be placing the stacked oak planks, which are one of my favorite modded oak textures. And I definitely didn't almost die and forgot to eat while I was building this house. But this is only gonna be the first floor of the hotel, so before I make the second floor, I need to connect up the porch to this with a little roof. And of course I want to use the dried hay bale slabs again. So I've already been drying loads of them on my island. I just realized breaking them with a hoe is a billion times faster. And hey all the crops have grown so let's harvest all of them. The entire field is harvested but I have visitors. Go away. Oh no. This never happened. Ignore the pillager head. It never happened. But before we build the roof over the porch, we gotta decorate the porch and make sure it can connect to the roof. So we're gonna start with a barrel here, then three blocks of stairs, then another barrel, and it continues just like that all the way around. But here I'm gonna put a staircase like that so we can walk up to the hotel where the grand entrance will be. Then I'm gonna put spruce palisades on top of all of the barrels and I'm connecting them with a fence gate and I'm making this lovely curve every time they connect. It's gonna be a beautiful porch. And then I'm gonna place three fences on top of every palisade so it can connect to the roof later. Now let's craft all of these into slabs and hopefully they're gonna be enough for this first roof layer. Let's start here and keep placing the slabs all the way around. I'm already out of slabs and I didn't even complete this first ring. Many hours of farming and replanting crops later. I've made a giant tower of hay and AFK'd on it and now it's all dried up so we just gotta take it all. And now I can finally continue the roof and it kinda looks like I'm 3D printing something. That's already looking like half a hotel, like a cozy little beach hut. But before we build the second floor, we gotta work on the layout of the first one. I think first up we're just gonna bring this across and we're gonna have an entrance right here and a reception desk. I don't know why so many animals decided to live here. What a little stalker that guy is, now he's peeking through the window. Over on this side we have space for two rooms I think, so let's bring the walls across. And then we just fill in the flooring. Yeah, that's perfect. Two cozy little rooms that we can decorate. And now that the walls are in, they do seem a little bit tiny. But when you're on vacation, you just need a lovely bed and a cozy room and it's perfect. How did you get in here again? Out the window with you. Bad sheep. No, you're not stalking my hotel guests. You are not stalking them. You stop stalking me too. All the animals have gone crazy. First I thought I could fit two more rooms in here, but I realized there wouldn't be a way upwards. And a hotel can't just have a creepy ladder going up. So the stairs are gonna go over here and this is gonna be the third room of this first floor. Oh, there's a chicken in my floor! So let's make a spiral staircase going upwards and I'm using some really funny logs you'll see soon. The logs have faces. It's so creepy. Every time I'm on vacation I find these creepy things in hotels like creepy statues and stuff. So I thought that would be a nice touch to have some really creepy gross decoration that only some creepy person would put here. Why did I make my own hotel cursed? And now we can walk up the creepy staircase. It does get wider at the top. And then here's gonna be the second floor. But first we gotta place down the ceiling of the rooms down below. Because I don't want them to be the same as the floor above. And now that it's dark and gloomy down here, I'm just gonna plop down some torches. Why is my floor missing? Enderman. And then for the floor on top, I'm using the wicked spruce planks. And I first thought they were called wicked spruce planks. Which would have gone better with the whole cursed theme of the hotel. And up here, I don't only want to fit three more rooms, even though it's smaller than the floor down below. But I 
I also want to try to get a tiki bar and a lovely sitting area in here. But first up, I'm just going to go ahead and build up the walls. This time I'm not going to use oak wood, but birch wood. And hopefully it's going to give it a lovely, nice color palette. Yay, I already have the first guest, even though the hotel isn't even done yet. And apparently our guests are very arrogant. He doesn't even want to look at me. I don't think he wants to stay in my hotel. Maybe he was the one who stole my blocks. Anyways, let's keep on building the walls. And now this floor is all done as well. So here we have the three rooms. The doors are over here on this side. Oh, he came up here. Oh, how creepy. The way he was sliding across the floor. And now he's doing something weird to my stairs. Anyways, over here is going to be like a lounge area. And it's going to be really cozy. But before I'm going to build any of that, like the roof on top, me and Red want to meet up for something fun. I would really love to connect up a bridge to her island so I can go over there without having to get my feet wet. And she has so many beautiful paths and bridges on her island that lead to the mainland. So I'd be all connected up to all the other people. I oh, hi. See you. Hello. Hi. How are you? Sleepy. Oh. I want to sleep Hello. all day. <laughs> take a snooze. Hang on. Just got to make my... Oh, okay. Yep. Got to make This takes my... ages. Oh, there's a copper golem. Oh. Well, hello. I drowned a copper golem. This just took ages to get you from no. over there to over here. I was actually just building a bridge between the like bookshop and the campsite. And I feel like we could almost just like build a bridge between us at some point. I was thinking that too. We have to connect up our islands. I'm just yeah. alone on my island and there's no bridge to anyone. I say we build a bridge. Um, yes. We just have to figure out where we want to put the bridge. Do you have any ideas? I think I remember there was like a path over by the bookshop on the other side. Oh so my maybe... gosh. I was meant to build a bridge there and I never oh, did. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Well, I guess this was the bridge you were meant to put there in between our islands. So this works perfect. Yeah, so we can get the bridge through here and then I can make a staircase yeah. up here leading to this path of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, don't go in there. What is in the window? <laughs> You don't want to know. Is that a snake? Yes. <laughs> it's a snake. Oh my. It's oh so my. gross. It's, Ooh, it's so gross. Okay. Ugh. Yes. And after that gross snake encounter, we started brainstorming on what to build our bridge out of. Maybe something magical, like some cute magical blocks. Some amethyst. Ooh. Ooh, and calcite. Yes, it's like geode themed. But we didn't have any calcite and amethyst, so we went over to Sparkle to do a trade. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, Sev, you have Hi. come with Red to join her. Yes. Ooh. We're going to build and... a bridge between our islands, so that's why we uh, need some of the calcite. Oh, super cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, luckily, mm -hmm. I have literally so much calcite and also amethyst in return Ooh. for your skyrus wood. I'm so excited yes. to build with it again. So we did a little trade and ended up with so many amethyst and calcite blocks. Do let's... we want to each build on our sides and meet in the middle kind of a thing? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's build let's a bridge. Do it. So we started working on the bridge and didn't only use the amethyst and calcite blocks, but also the modded green willow wood, which looked really nice. And some modded birch leaves, which had little flowers on them. We did it's it! It's cute! Bridge! We got it! We made Yay, it! We won't bridge. have to drown as we try to make it in between each other's places now. No more drowning and swimming. I'm drowning. I don't know where you are. I'm under the ocean. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then once the blocks were laid out, we started scattering some amethyst crystals all over the bridge. And it looked really magical. And then we had the idea to add some floating crystal lanterns all around the bridge to give it a lovely magical touch. Oh my gosh, the bridge and the sunset. Ooh, that's so pretty. And then all the sparkly sounds when you run across it. So Magic cute. bridge. Now I can, oh. I was gonna say I can <laughs> walk over to my base without getting wet. I fell. And now that we have this beautiful bridge, we can keep on working on the hotel. The next step would probably be putting a roof on this thing and I still have some of the slabs stashed away. But since that won't be enough, I asked Brooke for help since she's the farmer and she put me something in my mailbox. It's almost a whole stack. 
I think now I finally have enough, so let's put a roof on this thing. I used the dried stair slabs and the full blocks to create a really unique roof that looks really cozy and beach vibes. So now that the basic shape of the hotel is done, we can start decorating. Which means tons of pretty windows and spruce wood stuff and flowers and leaves. But first let's start by adding a little pillow right here so it connects and I didn't make it connect. Then let's add some fence gates here so people don't fall out of this place. Now I have a beautiful outdoor chilling area inside the hotel. Now I just need to craft some pretty looking glass. I'm also gonna grab some nice leaves and later craft some lanterns. I think we gotta go for these cool paper lanterns again like we did for the party boat. I think we should start with the windows down here. I have lots of big open windows so all the hotel guests have a lovely view of all the scary birds on my house. Aw, now I can no longer jump through the window to get upstairs. Now I have to take the entrance. Boring. But of course the windows gotta be decorated as well so I'm gonna make a little canopy over overhang whatever kind of thing right here so people can dine here and of course the tiki furniture is right here to help us out make this look really cozy with an open flame because what is beach vibes without having an open fire source next to lots of wood but since some color was missing i started adding those cute colorful lanterns i love them so much and i just had to go ahead and place them all around the hotel so wherever you go there will be beautiful lanterns i did the same thing upstairs with the other types of lanterns and added the windows but something is still missing more spruce wood but since the regular fences and stairs wouldn't really fit on here since the lanterns are in the place where the stairs would go i'm gonna try these blocks here and i found out you can flip them around when you sneak right click in the air so like this <gasps> They turned the other way. Oh my gosh, it works. But now they're just hanging in the air like that. So let's just connect them to the wall like this. This is the coolest window I've ever seen. It is looking perfect. And I even added a lovely leaf thing at the back because I didn't have a window spot there. The hotel's looking really nice, but something is still missing, like a chimney maybe. Something going there where I left a hole for a chimney. Yeah, I totally planned this. That's why I totally smelled tons of bricks already too. Gotta love making some nice bricks bricks. I mean those pillar bricks bricks have something nice about them too. Why is everything called bricks bricks? So let's take all those different kinds of bricks bricks and keep building upward making a nice big chimney. Then we add the burny burny hot hot flames and the pipe thingies on top. And then we jump off the building. Ow. This is like the coolest hotel I've ever seen. But before I can start working on the cool interior of the house, Frog has called me over to the hat shop. I think it is time for me to get fired. I don't know what she wants. I still want those diamonds from the donation chest. So you got my message about meeting up? Yes, I did. What is this about? Um, there's a parrot in here. It's cute. No, the bird. No, the bird. Why do you always kill you animals? Aw. Uh. Um, it was spying on us, obviously. It was probably a spy from, like, Amazon sent to, like, check if our hats were good. Oh my gosh. Let's see how much money we made. <gasps> money! <gasps> diamonds. They're Mending. my diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. I'm taking the diamonds. Iron. I want scaffolding. Ooh. No, you should take the snail shell. That, that, that's definitely for you. I'm gonna take Aww. the chicken. Dead animal shell. <laughs> I have the diamonds, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I actually took one of them. What? But I think that you owe me a diamond because of what you did to me. What I did to you? You killed my glare. You killed it. That wasn't your glare. It wasn't even tamed. It was a random glare. That, that. What? No! The bird! There was another spy! I think that there's quite a few spies around here. What is going on here? Wait, maybe we can go up here. Maybe there'll be no spies. Yeah, let's hide here in a secret closet. <laughs> I truly believe that I deserve one of your diamonds because you dolphined my house and you know that dolphins are my worst fear. You killed my glare and then I put dolphins in your house as revenge and then you put guardians in my house and you made me go on the farm and die with the guardians. That's oh. not true. I um, It's true. You wanted to get revenge because of the flies. Oh yeah, that was also very rude. Yeah, you gave me flies and told me I smell. You you were very pungent that day. We had just built. Exactly. You didn't take a shower either. I didn't say anything. Yeah, but I didn't stink like that. Excuse me. I always shower. Even when I stink, you, I smell good. Mm -hmm. You smell like onions and garlic, 
but like in a bad way. I like garlic. Okay, you know what? You can have the diamond. It's fine. Thank you. Because I like garlic. I was, you bullied me. I like garlic too, but you have that like garlicky breath. Hey, we should eat some garlic sometime. Yeah. If we ever see each other again, once we get off this island. Yeah, true. We can go out, eat garlic, kill some you know, glares. Wait, you want to kill a glare with me? No, not the glare. No, no, I take you, it back. You said kill some glares. Maybe we're not that different after all, Seb. Maybe maybe you just liked the glare because you didn't want to be friends with me. I don't know. Maybe you were intimidated by my friendship. Yeah, maybe I was just a little bit scared. Why? I'm scared of everything. Even the glares and the birds. Look at this bird. <laughs> he just tossed them. He just tossed a it bird head out the window. It went <laughs> Wait, can you go put that back up there, please? Okay. Well, you have the scaffolding. You could just, like, climb up. Oh. Who gave us scaffolding, by the way? I live in a bamboo jungle. It was drift. And after we bonded over the fear of the bird infestation, we decided to give them a new home. Well, let's go get all your parrots. Then we can just take them somewhere. Yeah. We can take them to the guardian farm. Drift gave us scaffolding as a gift, so... Oh, yeah, we hate drift. We hate drift now. Even though I Drift like scaffolding. Drift is the new glare. Drift is the new glare? But I like the glare. No, you hate the glare and you hate Drift. Okay, let's put parrots in our house. She gave us scaffolding. Everyone has scaffolding. There's bamboo. We live in a bamboo jungle. So we rounded up all the birds that were all over my house that lagged out my poor base so we could finally get rid of them and relocate them to Drift Space because why not? You're gonna get a lovely new home because Drift really loves animals. Drift doesn't have any birds. True. <gasps> That's so suspicious. There's no birds over here. Oh my gosh. Maybe she is the bird person who put them everywhere. You, you are the bird person. I'm not the bird person. I kind of am the bird person. And now Drift's house is full of birds. Oh, they want to cook on the stove. That's so creepy and suspicious. And then we kind of blamed it on Brooke and ran away. Well, that was fun. I got some nice resources from the hat shop. And we pranked Drift because... Why not? At least now the birds are gone from my house. Oh, come on, they're back already. But now we're back to decorating the hotel and I have a really cool idea to make themed rooms down here. At least for the downstairs rooms because the upstairs ones are really tiny. We're gonna start with the ocean room, which is gonna be blue themed. So we have a lovely bed with blue sheets. Then we can have a table here and some lovely blue cushions to sit on. And to add some more ocean vibes, I'm gonna put some really cute plushies on these nightstands. Yes, even a creepy dolphin. I hope Frog stays here one day and she gets this room. <laughs> I also added the only two ocean sea kind of paintings, but this one is definitely the best. I also made these trophies that I made from the dead bodies of fish. And they're so cute. Look at those cute little pufferfish creatures. Look how adorable this room is now. And of course, I made a themed sign for the ocean room, which is going to be room number one. Then the next room over on this side is going to be a tropical jungle theme with Christmas themed beds because that was the only green they had. This time, the plushies are going to be a panda and a parrot. And then we're going to have this open fire in a room full of wood because we already established that that is beach vibes. I also hung up a jungle painting which this rope kind of goes through which is kind of weird and to make this even weirder I'm gonna add lush and poisonous vines all over this area so it can grow everywhere and of course this room is gonna get a themed overgrown jungly door and this is gonna be room number three the jungle room I skipped the room let's move on to this one we'll have a lovely bed with magenta sheets a creepy enderman and kitty cat plushie a shelf up here which I'm gonna fill with creepy potions and then I'm gonna put some jack-o-lanterns up here oh they look so creepy then we have some books and the scary witchiest paintings yeah this is kind of cute actually and the door is a secret door behind a bookshelf and this is the magic room and when you come in you get an enderman jump scare all-inclusive I already started working on the reception area we already have some storage up there and then maybe the reception desk can go right here with the little door for the receptionist to come in and out but these drawers are looking kind of not reception like so I got this hammer and I found out when you click it <gasps> It transforms. I think these big ones could look good. 
Then I'm also gonna leave the radio for the receptionist to listen to music every time they're here. And we can't forget the big red carpet because this is an expensive hotel. And then of course I brought some cactus to put in these flower pots because why not have some prickly stuff in here. Oh look at that tiny one, it's so cute. And I'll let you in on a little secret when you walk back here towards the staircase, behind it is the safe where all the hotel income is gonna go. We just gotta wait for people to get stranded on this island so we can make them pay to sleep here. Wait, that sounds mean. And then for the rooms up here, I'm also gonna lay out a big, nice orange carpet. And I already kind of went ahead and decorated them, even though there wasn't much to decorate since it's so small. But we have the bed, the bedside table, little lamps, some shelves to store stuff, and a chair. And I basically did the same in every single room and this one has the weird Christmas pattern again. Now there's just one last thing to add up here which is the one I'm most excited about, the tiki bar. So let's put up two tables and the chairs around it. Now let's put the tiki bar right here, the cabinets up there and then let's get a trapdoor and connect these two together. So it's like a little bar and we can just stand here and serve drinks. But speaking of drinks, I've been talking about serving ice cream and drinks and other random stuff for like since I stranded here. But one thing always stopped me, I need ice and this is a tropical island. So I guess it is time for another boat adventure but I'm scared to go alone so I'm gonna ask one of the girls. So I met up with Red on our brand new bridge. I need ice oh. because I wanna serve oh. some drinks and ice cream and stuff. <gasps> Oh, cute. Yes. Uh, okay. I mean, like, going on, like, a boating adventure? Yes, I'm kind of scared to go alone, so... Do you want to come? Yeah, sure. I, I'll come. Yay. That sounds kind of fun. Second yeah. boat adventure. We're off. Woo. We are not scared. Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, no. Definitely not. Oh. This happens every this single... Is... Oh, I broke the lily pads. Oh, no. You're breaking it. Five minutes of sailing and singing later. I see the eyes but I also see a thing. A pirate ship? Uh, that looks very scary. They're guarding the eyes. Wait, there's spawners in the water, be careful. Oh no, this is scaly on land. See that? Yeah, I see them, ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> I'm burning one, just because. Ooh, you know what we can do? Wait, let's let's get out what? of the boat. And then- Oh, we can ice it. Ice boat. Whee! Whee! Oh no, what the heck? We slammed into something. What was something. that? We slammed into a <laughs> vlog. <laughs> and after we were done having fun on the ice, we started mining tons of it for my ice cream. Yes. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. I have so much ice, all of the ice variants now. Oh yeah, the boat. No, the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. It's so funny how we're like barefoot on ice. Oh my gosh, true. In a t-shirt. Ice Ready? boat, let's go home. Well, that actually wasn't so scary after all. And check this out, we got tons of ice. And now we can make all of these drinks. Like a melon cocktail, which you make in the tiki bar. I'm so excited, I'm gonna make so much stuff. Now let's put some ice in the tiki bar. Let's put some coconuts in here. It's making a drink. Oh, it's filling up. That's so cute. <gasps> Coconut cocktail. And it can be placed. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Also, I just now realized ice cream isn't made in the tiki bar. You need the mini fridge. So let's quickly just make one. And I heard this cactus ice cream. Like, look at this. Imagine eating a cactus. And after a long time having fun making drinks and ice cream, we have a ton of them. Ew, the cupboards are creaking. I guess now the hotel is really done. So at some point we gotta invite all the girls over for a fun sleepover. But until we can actually invite guests over here, we gotta clean up this mess. Like, there's just this wheat field lying around. It looks so ugly. And then we gotta make a bridge connecting to this because how will you walk here? The grind is on. So the first thing I did was of course clean up the messy area right in front of the hotel. The crop field was of course the worst thing but there were also some grass patches in between the sand. So I got rid of that and evened out the land. So we got some nice block layers to work with. And then of course we gotta make a bridge connecting these two islands together. But instead of those cute leaf bridges, I wanna make a big wooden one because it's gonna be the main entrance to the hotel, so it's gotta be fancy. And I'm gonna make it out of spruce, so let's strip lots of wood. And then we're gonna start right here with the spruce pillars, and then we're gonna have a three block gap. And then there'll be even more spruce pillars. And then we'll just create a nice curved path shape all over this bridge using different slabs and those cute blocks. And then in between as a railing so people don't fall off, we're gonna have the support things and a trapdoor. 
and the fence gates on top. I mean, technically this bridge could already be done. It's looking really nice and safe and sturdy, but we're not done yet because I want this bridge to have a roof right on top. But now it's looking kind of creepy, like you're walking under some creepy gates mineshaft kind of thing. Not that I'm scared of mineshafts. So I had the idea to place lots of lush flowery leaves all in between this. So it becomes a beautiful nature bridge. And so we get some different colors in here. I brought my beautiful favorite paper lanterns. And now this is truly a grand bridge leading to the hotel. The lamps made such a big difference and all the lush plants are so beautiful. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. I'm loving this. We do have to do some changes to the path here, though, and connect it all up to the bridge so it's on the same level. Luckily, that was an easy fix, and with a couple of leaves here and there, we have the perfect pathway over to the hotel. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side here, make a lovely path up to the hotel. Definitely not like that. Bad slabs, very bad. And for this road, I'm gonna do another big mix of different kind of gray stony textures. I started adding these fence posts and lamps and lots of leaves everywhere. Where's the bird? I hear a bird. Ah, it's on my shoulder. I still don't know if birds are spies or if they're nice. And I made a big sunflower field right next to it with tons of beach plants as well. I think now this is so decorated that we can actually invite guests over to the hotel. So why don't we try to invite as many of the girls as we can over to a sleepover. We can have snacks and drink lots of stuff and eat ice cream. It's gonna be fun. And the timing is right too because Brooke has just called us all over to meet her for something interesting. So we can just invite them over to party later. Okay, so guys, I've called this meeting because I went off Sure, and I found something that I think will get us off the island. Ooh. Oh, it's this. what is that? Ooh. A giant rock. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, she this is a waste stone, and oh. um, I think we can use it to teleport. I can give it a go and show you guys if you like. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my gosh, she's oh gone. Where'd she go? She, go? Where'd she, where'd she left where'd us. Oh, oh my gosh, she's back. back. I'm back. She's back. I'm back. Oh my gosh. Where'd she go? All of Are you, you okay? should be able to use it as well. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's great. It just takes a level. I want to oh, try. Interesting. Ooh. Should I try? Should I try? Yeah. <gasps> oh my yeah, gosh. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, here we go. I want to try. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm we're not, in I'm a stinky magic. village. Whoa. Where are we? Oh my god. It's magic. Whoa. Let's go back. Oh, yeah, I want to call it. Whoa. That was creepy. <gasps> that was very creepy. Oh, yeah. So I actually have like heaps of these. There's enough for everybody. <gasps> Um, so if you want to oh, set one up yeah. somewhere, you can have oh. your own. Is this a way that we can maybe get back home, you think? Yeah, I think from the village that this teleports us to, we should all be able to like kind of go in our own directions and find home. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. we can go home! Oh my gosh. Wait, Drift, After all this home? time, Wait. not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna miss this place a little bit. We'll I don't be, know how to oh, quite yeah. feel. I'm not gonna miss it. Let's go. Let's go right now. No! Wait, oh. no. wait, wait guys. hold on! No. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Wait. Wow. Well. Wow. That's Froggy, one. where yeah. are you? Come back. Oh, Yay. Yay. If we're really oh my leave. god. Oh my god. There were so many people screaming there and everything was on fire. Holy. I think I that went to hell. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I think we're all gonna miss it here, so maybe we could come back on holiday one day. I actually yeah. want to just say one thing if we're gonna come back here. Now, I've been thinking of this for a while. Some of us need to learn about soap while we're off the islands, okay? And I'm it's, not saying anyone in don't particular look at me. needs to look Whoa. at soap, yeah, but I'm like, Drift, Drift has been wearing Crocs, <laughs> like the same ones and the same socks, and it stinks so bad. Mm. Don't look Girl, at me. Girl, you I don't wash. even have socks on. So true. You don't even have socks on. Yeah, your I feet wash are regularly. And fungusy. They're not. Like, you're, you have foot fungus. It's disgusting. I have diamond boots foot on. <laughs> Before, like, if we all decide to go our own separate ways, don't you think we should just have, like, a proper goodbye? This place has been home to us for a while. Yeah, we should party. Yeah, what would we do? So we all decided to go over to Drift so she could cook us a nice dinner at her new restaurant. But of course, we got distracted. Oh, Red, you left this these pair, like, these boots? I forgot oh, to wear them. Oh, the giant stompers. Been, yeah, they've been mulling in this chest for, like, two or three weeks now. <gasps> what and the they, heck oh. is that? You never aired them out? Yeah. No, I didn't. I completely oh, forgot. No. Stomp. Oh, oh. No. Oh, oh, shit! What the heck? What the heck? What? What is that? <laughs> Someone oh, should wear them and go in the cow pen. It's super fun. It's like a cow trampoline. I'm what not even kidding you. Trampoline. On the cows. Jump on the, the cows. cows. You need more... 
No! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, you are going. <laughs> then we finally went over to the restaurant, which was really lovely and cozy. Could Save I get anybody life. anything, Seb? I want a burger, and I'm going to pay this. <laughs> what? Why? Because oh, fine, I'll take it. I'm desperate. <laughs> Honestly, I'm desperate. Okay. One burger coming right up. Where burger, are burger. You? Where's my burger? Very first burger. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, there you go. Burger, burger. My, my, and lucky my, my. for you all, I prepped in advance, and I oh. have burgers to go around. Madison? Yeah. No, Yay. I want a fresh one. I don't Come want one that was fresh. in the cabinet. We had a really good time violating an insulting drift restaurant and eating the burgers that she threw on the floor for us. This food made <laughs> me kind of sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. Well, so I just made a Summer hotel. Party. Stop hitting me! So now that we're all tired, we can go over to my hotel. I got some drinks, I got ice cream, and then we can have a slumber party. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh sounds yes. like so yeah. much fun. Party yes, time. Let's okay, go. let's go. Ooh, it's dark. Don't let the creepers bite you. Scary. Did you guys know that there's a snake <laughs> in that house? Come look in the horror I don't house. Know where we're going my latest I was attraction. Seth. Go in there, oh get God. scared. It's in the window. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, it's it's on the window. in the window. Oh gosh. And then we all went to the hotel, and Drift was throwing steak at me to give her a room. And then something really weird happened. This one. I want to see the jungle one. Basically, our island. Oh, so cute. Wait, there's oh, there's 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 is. You're right. There's 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 what is happening? We can we can all go upstairs first and get some drinks, and then we can go to sleep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm too poor to afford a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so Hi, in here, can I have something. Yeah, up here in the cabinet, oh, there's oh. tons of ice cream and drinks. And after we ate all the ice cream and drank all the drinks, we kind of just sat on the hotel roof for a while, looking at some creepers and spiders crawling around, just thinking about what it would be like if we all went home again to our own places, so far away from each other, and wouldn't live on the same island anymore. And I don't know why, but it made me kind of sad. But it was such a great time to be stranded on these islands with all the girls. And we became such great friends. I mean, who knew being shipwrecked could be so fun? I kind of slept in and the girls have left already. Maybe they've already gone home. And they left a chicken and a bird in my hotel. And a bird head, how rude. I think now it's my turn to go home as well. We just gotta use this waystone and then we're out of here. I'm gonna put it in a special place though. So I was thinking this beautiful gazebo up here is the perfect spot. Right here in the middle. But before we leave, maybe forever, ow, I want to take a last look at my beautiful island. We made a park, we made a beach, we made a giant beach hotel. I built so many things on these islands and I really made a home for myself here. Red mapped out our entire island and you can see how much we built. We connected everything with bridges and built so many houses. Look at my beautiful little island, I'm so proud of it. But it's getting dark and I'm getting kind of sad so I think I'm just gonna get out of here. This has been the best vacation ever and I hope we can all come back here one day and hang out with the girls. Okay, bye island. Also, it was me who crashed the ship in the first place. Haha, <laughs> okay, bye now.